Sus. How's how's everybody doing? That was the worst start I've ever done. Uh, let's go to the talking head. That one. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought I had stuff set up, and then I, I forgot I had stuff not set up. So, whatever. That, that's how we're going to start. We're not going to start this again. Um, we're just going to accept that it's a mess and move on from there. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. It's going to be one of those days. How are you doing, Nandoxus? Say your name right? Probably not. I don't know. How is everybody doing tonight? Presumably, you guys can hear me just fine. I hope. Uh, if not, do let me know now. Um, <laughs> just to make sure that everything's remotely functioning. I don't expect it to be functioning well. Voice is a bit quiet. Uh, how about now? Is that better? I, I can always mess with it later on as well. Um, but that should be better now. I can also mess with my gain and stuff, so... I'm just messing around with my audio settings, so some things might not be 100% correct. Hey, look, uh, that actually, uh, leads us into one of the first things I want to mention. So, this stream is the first stream on the main channel where we're not streaming just on YouTube. Currently, we're also streaming over on Twitch, if you go... Have a look at... Hang on a sec, I'll actually bring it up. Have a look at this one here. As we can see, I am currently live on Twitch as well. So, if you want to watch on Twitch, you can watch on Twitch. Yeah. Um, also, I am live over on DLive as well. So, feel fr at least I should be live over on DLive. I don't know if DLive's working properly. Um, you know, we'll check that one as well. Let's see if DLive's... If is actually functioning. I know it sometimes has issues, especially with, uh, uh, oh, no, don't, don't play someone else's stream, with going through restream. The broadcaster has indicated this is for mature audiences. Yep, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Does the DLive one work as well? We're getting something stream? Hey, it the works. Okay. Hmm. So yes, right now we're live on three platforms. Uh, if you try to donate through the Twitch link, it won't work uh, for like notifications. So if you want something to appear on stream, do it through the YouTube link. I just haven't got stuff working properly with the Twitch stuff right now just because of the way Restream actually functions. So yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. But we are on these platforms, so... Feel free to watch anywhere that you would like to watch, I guess. Um, yeah, so I've already got us logged in, because I don't want to deal with all that stuff again. And we're going to be playing on the character from last time as well. So, yeah, let's actually get into that. Uh, I don't know how loud this is going to be. Probably very loud. Uh, right, there's no sound in the menu, is there? <laughs> well, okay. We'll, we'll work that out in a minute, won't we? Very loud, the answer is. Okay, uh, let's fix that. Let's go into the settings, sound, master volume. Way down. That, that seems better. Yeah, that should be fine. Cool. Um, also, the game might be laggy a little bit. I was testing it out earlier, and it seems like with the, the latest changes they've made, the game, uh... <laughs> is considerably less optimized. So, if we drop to like some really low frame rate, that's that's gonna be why. But hopefully it's gonna be fine. Imagine this, this game gets cease and desist just because the name Valorant. Uh, why would it get a, a cease and desist? Because it's similar to the name Valorant, of Valorant? Uh, yeah, they've also changed some things like, there's a couple of new enemies. Also, there's fog. This fog I don't think was here last time. Maybe it was, I just didn't know about it. Um, but there's giant birds now. It's like there's a cockatrice here. And anything within the town, we can't go and horribly slaughter. So, last time I was playing, like, this dog here, I could just go up to and, like, murder it. But, uh, yeah, everything in, in the town now is just completely indestructible. Which I think is probably better, because it means you can't go and slaughter all of the people in your hometown and basically screw yourself over. Uh, even random enemies that... Oh, that frame rate drop. Even random enemies that walk into the town, like this 
this dragon thing here. Even this thing is also indestructible. Uh, so I'm guessing this, the indestructibility is kind of in its, uh, in its test phase right now. And not exactly, uh, not exactly working as well as it probably could be. But, nonetheless, it's still, it's still cool. So the plan for today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and try to actually head... What are you doing, dog? Uh, we're going to go and try to head out of the town and go somewhere a bit different. So, I've been in my hometown this entire time, which is uh, Feyolt, which is a odd name. Oh, wait. Oh, also, there's um, different volume settings when you're in the game and out of the game. So, uh, where's... Here it is. So there's the master volume and master volume in active window, so that's why I lower that one down so if I mouse off it doesn't break the audio. Um, yeah, so as I said, we're going to be going to a different town and we're going to be trying out one of the slightly harder dungeons rather than just going... I think last time we ran the... Yeah, the Gay Fredge. The, the Gay Fredge Crib, the level zero dungeon. So... Uh, that was quite easy, but some things have changed, I've noticed. So, besides, obviously, um, you know, there being more stuff in the town now, there being fog and birds, uh, there's also, like, a quest interface that's here. There currently isn't quests, but there is a quest interface. So, presumably, at some point, there will be quests. Uh, also, if I go and talk to people, uh, they'll actually talk to me now and, like, tell me something. Someone should do something about those cultists, preferably not me. So, I presume this is how you're going to get quests when quests are, like, in the game. Uh, but, right now, no quests. So, also, yeah, you gotta, you gotta kind of drop down every single bit of the render distance to get anything running, uh, nicely in this game. Even so, then, it probably won't still run nicely. The game is horribly optimized. But, even so, uh, it, it's, it's still gonna hopefully work out. This will happen occasionally, though, where the game will just completely lock up. Thank you for the 200 of whatever that currency is. Uh, I don't know. From, from Sheik Shaquille Akhtar. Oh, yeah. So, even this lion here. Lions are actually, like, a completely aggressive enemy. Even now, uh, this is going to be completely, uh, completely invulnerable in the town and also not hostile, which is nice. Because it would be amusing if they were all invulnerable and then just, uh, yeah, also, <laughs> also attacking. That would just, uh, make for some interesting gameplay. But there was a merchant around here, which I want to show you because they actually fixed the, um, the potion bug that we had last time where, uh, potions were effectively free. I believe Mental Outlaw talked about this in his, um, in his second Valorant video as well. Oh god, this frame break. <laughs> Oh, lordy lord. Yeah, that, that happens, I believe, when it's loading in new chunks. And there's not really much I can do about that. They might, the merchant might have already left. Um, were they over here? Where, where was this merchant? I know there was a merchant earlier. <laughs> Don't know why, but... Uh, Val, Val, Valorant crashed... You mean Valorant? Crashes on my PC. Uh, probably because it's pre-alpha software. 200 Indi uh, Indian rupees. What is that in, in like, USD or AUD or something? Oh, the lion is stuck in the wall. Can still damage me through there. Sure, whatever. Grab this, and we'll grab the leather scrap. We'll grab the bolt. We can also still see through the world, which is lovely. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to do something to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, maybe if we lower the, like, the, the level of detail... Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that'll do it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it didn't do it. Okay, anyway. Uh, I can't find this merchant anymore. But yeah, they, they have fixed the merchant problem where potions were free and you could just buy tons of them like I have somewhere in this inventory when the game decides to catch up. Uh, I paid like three stones for all of these. so. <laughs> but now I think they're like... I think it's like 80 for the minor potions and like 120 for the large potions. Also, they nerfed my staff. So, oh, sorry, nerfed my scepter. This scepter was one-shotting everything when I originally got it. Um, 
yeah, for some reason, I guess they decided to nerf the drops from that dungeon, which includes drops that already existed. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, where is the direction we want to go? We want to go down... I guess we'll head down to Dratind, and then from there, we will move on. I wonder if we can still scroll out to the point where the game breaks. Yes, we can still scroll out to the point where the game breaks. Okay, that wasn't fixed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pre-alpha software. How you doing, Kropkin? Oh yeah, you might also notice that I'm like, not looking off the screen when, um, when I want to go read chat. And that's because I've decided that I have a third screen in front of me and I'm going to use it. So now the chat is like, behind the camera. Which honestly makes it so much more convenient. Um, oh god. Right. Fall damage. Um, remember that exists. <laughs> so, I th how are you doing, Carl Ty? I didn't know you'd left. <laughs> so, let's, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to go out at night and head down, should be this way? Yeah. One cannot have too many screens. That is fair. There are different map modes. Oh, this one shows the roads. Oh, that's cool. So I guess, I guess we'll head the down the roads. One thing I would like to see is gliding got overhauled. Uh. Oh God. Okay. Oh, gliding's not completely broken now. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be a common theme throughout this uh, this this stream. Well, it actually is like gliding now, not not broken flying. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Changing your angle actually is really important now. Okay. It is very much been overhauled. Yeah, because previously, no matter where you looked, it just... It just flew basically forever. I think that's an improvement, to be honest. Brody, make some good free software wrap. Uh, that would mean I have to be good at programming. Yo, I'm heading to Fagot. Want to come along? One thing I did notice with those chat messages um, is sometimes you'll be in the town and they'll still be like, yeah, we're going to this town. Want to, want to come along? It's like, I, I'm literally standing here. What are you talking about? Uh, I think we've walked off. <laughs> oh, lion. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh my Lord. We, we don't get soft to get used to the uh, the game basically freezing. I don't know what the deal is there. It could be the the server or something to do with the server, but I don't know. I'm not sure why you're in the frame rate issues. Is that a more recent issue? I'm running the most recent build of the game, so it very well could be. Oh god, okay. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This is I I have not seen this issue before. This only started happening when I was playing this build. There wasn't any of these issues last time, so I don't know what exactly the deal is here. Um, but it's what you get with pre-alpha. Maybe it wasn't happening back when I was playing it a while back. Yeah, I'm running the build that came out yesterday. Um, I'm going to drop... We'll drop the view distance down to minimum. Uh, let's drop... We'll even get rid of the AA. Uh... We'll get rid of clouds, even. Let's just see what happens. I just want to... We'll run this game at basically minimum. Just see what happens. Oh, God. Okay, no, I can't play without AA. That's disgusting. Okay, we'll put the AA back on. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look that much worse without all the other stuff, but the AA... The AA is very noticeable. Not having that there... Yeah, not having that there is really painful. Yeah, that's not a addressing the FPS issues. That's really strange. I'm guessing it's an issue with the latest build. Thinks it's Voxygen AA. Is it possible it's the restream? I see the entire stream freezing. No, no, this was happening when I was testing it earlier. Now, that has nothing to do with restream at all. That's actually the game freezing. Um, <laughs> Dwarven cheese. Okay, sure. It's fine. It's, I'm not sure what's causing it, though. Did we lower the... Render distance? What is the render distance at? It's at 15. Let's lower it down to 10. Or... Actually, we'll lower it down to 5. Sure. 
Maybe there's just some problem with the render distance? I don't know. I did notice if you drop the render distance down to one, though, the game effectively breaks. That... Is this maybe because of world generation? I don't think it would be because I've been down this way before, so unless, like, the world got completely unloaded and just all of that's completely missing now that um, I've left the game for a bit. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be the issue. Um, I guess if there's anyone involved in developing Valorant, um, world is not uh, is not stored, always regenerated, by the way. Hmm, okay. Maybe that's it? I don't know. Because it doesn't seem like it happens in areas that I've been to previously, so that could very well be the issue then. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll go over to this um, this waypoint here. I notice the waypoints still aren't on the map, which would be nice to see. Seems to be happening when you're walking, yeah. Yeah, that seems to be it. Um, I don't know, though. This is, this is why pre-alpha software needs, uh, needs people testing it. Because otherwise, like... Stuff like this is not going to be known about. It could very well just be my, um, just my hardware configuration. I don't know. But yeah, this, this build came out yesterday. So, it's very possible it's just, it was just introduced within that build. And the next build is going to be gone. The problem doesn't seem as bad now. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with the number of entities? What are you, dwarf? Where are you going? I'm heading to Maymast. Want to come along? Sure, why not? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> you, you got away from me while... Uh, while that was happening. Sure. Oh, what is that? That's a... What are you? Wait, can I damage... I wonder if those was getting damaged by that. I like this traveling NPCs now. Yeah, that is nice. Those were definitely not there last time. It adds a bit more, I guess, life to the world. I was playing this game like an hour ago with no lag whatsoever. Ha. Huh. Okay. I think, I think I was in a different area though. Hmm. Well, I'll see if it, uh, if it like, I guess disappears as the stream goes on. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe not. I don't know. What if it's single player only? That could very well be the case, eh? I don't know. I don't know how different the uh, multiplayer and the single player uh, code actually is handled. What? Wait, did I just take damage there? Wait, what? Oh, no, that was stamina, sorry. <laughs> so I climbed a wall. Right. <laughs> oh, that... What is that? I have not been down this area. I sort of just left, um, left the hometown and left... Uh, and went to one of the dungeons, and that's all I did. So anything along this path... I have not seen before. Right, we're not going to that dungeon. We're going to go down to Dratind and see what's there. Hmm. One thing I don't like is that when you shoot the fireball, it doesn't actually create light until it hits. Like, it hits something. How you doing, Yash? Obviously, that would add more lag into the game, but... Uh... <laughs> lag that I'm not exactly needing right now. Hopefully, by the next time I try to play the game... Uh, this is dealt with. Uh, they're identical. You just run a local server. Playing multiplayer can help regarding performance as you offload some of the work on the server. Fair point. Okay. But as I said, none of this existed last time, so... It could very well be a problem with the latest version plus my hardware configuration or something weird like that. I just... I don't know. Games are weird. Programming is just generally weird. And, like, things are going to break just because they happen to break. Uh, which way are we going? Are we going down... Okay, Dratind is this way. And there's another town down that... Why is there two markers for the same... T oh, no, there's two towns there. I thought there were two markers for the same town. Shall we uh, spin up a private server? Uh, I don't know how to do that. But if someone wants to... Eh... Oh, what? 
Yeah, maybe. Like, if you if you know how to do that and want to do it, um, that'd be cool to test. But he's always here. I don't know. If... Oh god, I've got some some pre. <laughs> Just got some AWS, AWS credits laying around. Oh, you messed around with Kubernetes. Nice. Um. Hmm. Because if it is a problem just rendering it on my hardware, it shouldn't be. Because I'm running a 3600X and a um, RX something or other. Uh... Let's put that down to cheap. Hmm. Legit got 5k worth from a startup accelerator I was in. A startup accelerator that you're going to use to run a Valorant server. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Oh. Wait, it's just got considerably more stable when I drop down the lighting. Oh, wait. There may be issues with the lighting rendering. Yeah, that... The game is running rock solid now. As soon as I drop down... Oh, no. No, ignore exa everything I just said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I... What? Yeah, okay. I, I thought there were... It was just the lighting, but no. No, I, I, am, I am mistaken. It obviously did help out, and the game is running slightly smoother now. But it, it's still kind of... Still kind of rough. Why is this waypoint way off the path? I don't know. Let's uh, save there just so I don't die and go all the way back to my hometown. I think there's still no way to reset your home. So if you run slash home, it's always going to go back to the um, the origin town. Only hot water available in my city during 11 to 5. Is that like a normal thing? Or is that just some special things they're doing like maintenance on... I guess your hot water supply. Sinks all tanks heat up, causing no cool water. Aha. Oh, it'll be daytime soon. Nice. So I think we're in a desert right now, aren't we? Looks like we are. Oh yeah, that that would explain the cactuses, wouldn't it, Brody? <laughs> ah, okay. Right. Right, yeah, India has really hot summers, doesn't it? Oh yeah, uh, wait. I'll wait, I'll wait till it's daytime to show how broken um, dropping the render distance down to one chunk is, because the game actually dies on my system at least. It's uh, it's it's kind of amusing how how badly it it uh it dies when I drop it down that low. <laughs> it's functional at five. Five is is okay because they're still gonna load like a little bit in front of me, but. I don't know what it is with one, but um, yeah, yeah, one one creates an interesting effect to say the least. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I'm going to that town. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll just cross right over here, won't we? Have I been near a body of water yet? I don't think so. Ooh, getting close to the daytime. That cactus is see-through. It's too hot in summers. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no. No, it's a bone rattler. Unlike you. Oh, they're, they're weak now. Oh, that, they were so threatening when I last saw them. Oh, God. Nope, they're still threatening. Alright, I have dodge roll. Why don't I use the dodge roll? Oh. I, I, I don't know if I'm... I don't... <laughs> I have no idea if I'm still alive. Okay, there we go. Maybe they're just more threatening in the dungeon. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, did I just change my direction... Yes, I did. Gone that way. Oh, we are in a we are in a desert. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'll drop my render distance down to one and just so, show you an amusing effect that goes on. So, um, let's see if it's gonna happen. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, the world starts sort of warping around me. Uh. Because you're only loading in a single chunk, and sometimes I can walk so quickly. It usually happens on flat ground, which I'm not seeing here. Here we go. 
Yeah, if you're on flat ground, when you're on one, <laughs> one chunk being loaded, you can, yeah, see underground. Because <laughs> the game, I guess, it's not loading the chunks in quick enough when it's like this. And just uh, produces interesting effects, to say the least. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll up that just to make sure the game is sli slightly playable. Uh, there we go. Much better. Oh, a porcupine. You're going to be threatening. I don't know. Oh. Oh, no. They're fine. Oh, I, I don't know if this uh, destructible terrain was here last time I played. It might have been, but also could very well be new. Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, a camel. I haven't seen one of these before. Yo, camel, how you doing? I see there's no sounds for the camels just yet. Um, oh, you go away. Come on, Bone Rattler. Yeah, there we go. I liked Indian Brody. Indian Brody. Oh, wait, did you see the picture of that? Yeah, that was a... Yeah, that was a picture. <laughs> that was certainly a picture. Hmm. <sighs> Come on, game. There we go. <laughs> Caught up eventually. Wait, are you... I think you're invulnerable when you're drinking a potion. What the... Wait, what? Okay. That's... I guess it does that to make sure you don't... Hmm. So you don't die while it's happening. Or is that just a healing effect and I'm just not paying attention? Uh, could be. Wait. That... Yeah, that's the direction I want to go. Only Om was left. I'm not sure what Om is. What are you? A porcupine. Come on, Pokemon. Oh, come on. Yeah, got it. Have you any update in LF preview image? Uh, I haven't looked at it in a while. I heard that it got better, but I, I haven't tested it myself, so I couldn't exactly tell you how much better it would be. Hopefully it's better than this is running. Hmm. That would be my hope. Sup, Pangolian. The only thing I know about Pangolians is there's like this anime where people are like merged with like animals to become, I don't know, elite fighters for some reason because anime. And the Pangolian is like one of the strongest characters. <laughs> I think because they have like a really hard shell or something. I don't know. Someone who knows about Pangolians uh, will explain to you why Pangolians are cool. Oi, it's a bone rattler. Get over here. You're not that threatening. As long as the game doesn't freeze while I'm trying to fight you. There we go. Leather scraps. Nice. So, this is... Wow, the water is, uh... Quite, quite ugly when I drop down the render distance like this. Are they? Uh, I'm not allowed to say that word, but... Wait, is that... Wait. I'm sorry, what? Wait. Um, <laughs> I hear there's problems with the way that um, the entity spawning is done now, where if they spawn on a ledge, sometimes they may uh, spawn inside the ledge. This seems to be one of those cases. Either that or it's invisible. I'm not sure which. Alright then. Well, that was the easiest Bone Rattler kill I've ever had. Also, I think Bone Rattlers have had their... XP drop. Like, last... Maybe, as I said before, maybe the dungeon ones are stronger, but... Why is the FPS so bad? I genuinely have no idea. It's been doing this pretty much the entire stream so far. Uh, my answer is gonna be this is pre-alpha software. And pre-alpha software occasionally breaks. Very bad. Oh, is the... Oh, sorry. Um, I... I'll fix that up afterwards. I had to mess around with the Discord stuff occasionally. I, I did get rid of some channels. And for some reason, when I deleted the channels, that also... 
uh, broke my link. I'm not sure why that happened. What is a holodon? I'm gonna kill it. Oh, you're not threat threatening. Uh. Okay, that was. Sure, I fully regret su subscribing to this garbage channel. Well, that's fine. I fully regret reading your garbage comment. <laughs> I need a um, a uh, like a, a soundboard setup. That would be nice. Maybe I should do that. That wouldn't be that difficult. Set it up with some shell script. Take a couple of minutes. Then bind it to like my number keys or something. That'd work out. I, I oh god. <laughs> I forgot how low my uh my render distance was. Oh, a bird. Okay. I didn't know they actually flew. Is that a There's actually sound wait, there's actually a sound and animation when you get hit now. Oh yeah, yeah. Was wait, was that not there before? I think that was there last time I played it. Maybe it wasn't there when you played it. Ah, uh, beautiful frame rate. <laughs> there was a, uh, a game people were talking about in the pre-stream chat before. What was it, like SRB2 or something? I have no idea what that is, but... Uh, hey, I'll, I'll try it out next time, I guess. Well, next time I do a, um, a game stream on this channel, it can just cook our brains. SRB2 card. I have no idea what that is. Dratind. Okay, I presume that there's a town icon there, so presumably there is a town somewhere. It's extremely good. Probably the best FOSS game, but I'm really biased. That's fair. I'll, I'll, I'll take a biased answer. What is what is SR, SRB2 cart? What makes it so cool? What are those? Are those zebra? What are you? They are zebra. <laughs> they are zebra, but it's very difficult to tell when they haven't rendered properly. I think we've seen... I think we've seen zebra before. Maybe. Oh god! They are threatening. Jeez, okay. Ah, uh, I don't like zebra. <laughs> My favorite open source game is the first Doom. Uh, it depends on where you define open source. Like the source is open, but um, the assets aren't. So it sort of it, it depends on where your defining point is for a project being open source. Like if if you just have the source code for Doom, like the source code by itself isn't very useful. Is that a tree that just rendered in the middle of the town, or just what? In the, wait, I just saw. What are you? What in the world are you? Um. <laughs> it's AI it's AI's a little broken as well. Wait, wait <laughs> Wait Is that is that elf just following it around cleaning? What am I watching? It's a kart race with more skilled based Mario Kart. It's really fast, has over a hundred tracks and lots of characters to choose from. That sounds fun. What am I watching right now? I don't, I don't know what's happening. I feel like the game is broken and it's just doing whatever. There's clearly some, some interaction that's supposed to be going on here. I don't think this is what's supposed to be happening though. Uh, I didn't say free and open source. Okay, I guess, yeah, if you say open source, then yeah, it... It is open source, but it's definitely not free software. That's fair. I'll give you that. Oh, Sand Shark. That sounds threatening. Oh, it seems like we don't have in uh, invincibility in this town. Cheers, mate. How you doing, Brainstrom? So I'm guessing we only get invincibility in the hometown. So if I go and murder everyone, then the game's just going to let me do that. 
Well, that's cool. It's a mod of a mod, Lamau. <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. That's how I feel about everything that's going on right now. Why is there a scarecrow here? This is clearly not a farm. Or is it? Is this supposed to be a farm? I, I genuinely don't know. Ugh. Also, I have hay fever, so... Yeah, that's fun. I took an antihistamine before. I don't know what it was. It just said antihistamine on it. I was like, let's just take this and see what happens. Um, congratulations, you've reached 100 restream messages. It's a mod of a mod of doom. It takes its own mods. Ah, okay. Uh, where are we going to go down to? Right, we're in Dratind now. So I guess we can head down to the Ingen dungeon. No, it's a graveyard. Right, but why is there a scarecrow? Last time I checked, scarecrows are not very useful in graveyards. It's cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Hopefully it's not a sedative antihistamine. Well, I'm drinking, so I hope not. I want to die on this stream. Actually, maybe dying would be good for views. I don't know. Uh... Scare away the devil in a Texan accent. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm definitely not doing a Texan accent. <laughs> not for not not for free. That that's for sure. My Texan accent is uh, quite bad. I will I will offend all the Texans. That's a uh, that's an interesting interesting uh, biome border. That's odd because on the map, like there's a, like a more gradual shift between it, but like. The game world is like, oh, whatever. Just end the terrain there. Seems like terrain generation could use some work. But I presume terrain generation is quite difficult. Uh, scare away the ghost when when the get of the graves. I did go for a bit. Did you talk about the Luke Smith thing yet? No, I didn't talk about the Luke Smith thing yet. Uh, the Luke Smith job is uh, quite, an interesting, uh, quite an interesting job, to say the least. I'm sure a lot of you guys... Are from yeah, World Jank Me Strange some type? Absolutely. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the um, the Luke Smith looking for a job video. Uh, if you haven't, basically he's looking for a uh, a dev to do some what is it? So a bit of like basic web dev stuff or basic web dev stuff. Effectively, he's looking for a full stack developer to work with some APIs that basically no one's ever heard of. Um, and the amount that he's, like, trying to pay to get this job done is, uh, interesting, to say the least. That's, uh, <laughs> interesting is a good way to... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Where this job, I think he thinks it's considerably easier than it actually is. What is this line doing? So, the problem that I, I see with it, uh... I've seen several farmlands break. Sometimes they can float to a course they can. The problem I have with it is... Underpaying, yes. Uh, very much underpaying. It's a full stack job where there's no guarantee that you're going to get paid at all. <laughs> Which is the first problem. So the pay, the pay structure is basically going to be... Uh, he will give you a cut of what he makes in like the first couple of months. And he's going from not having a bookstore at all to running a bookstore. And he's going to be selling, like, really... Like, he's not selling any modern books. He's selling, uh, I guess, out-of-print, like, really old books. Basically taking PDFs of them, restructuring them to make it so they can be sold in a book... Or structured in a book format. And then selling them through this site. And you're the one who's going to have to uh, build the site, basically. And build all of the API for it and build... Or, not build the API... Call the, call the API for it and uh, build the entire front end for it. And... Mm. I, he's probably going to make, if he's lucky, I would say, let's say $1,000 in the first month. Which is unlikely, even though he does have a fairly large channel at like 120 k or so. I, I can't see him making more than really $1,000. So, assuming that you take 100%, I wouldn't even touch this job. Because this job is honestly going to take, like, three or four months to get done. Because, yeah, connecting to the APIs is going to be fine. But, 
you're gonna have to build this entire website where he thinks that oh you can just do it with like simple HTML and stuff which is gonna be such a horrible horrible way to maintain it because let's say you want to add a new book or let's say you want to go and I, I don't know maybe update to a new version of the API well if you update to a new version of the API and you uh, and you do everything with basic HTML. Now you have to go and manually update every single page on the entire site. Uh, which obviously is not very, very scalable. The more books you add, the longer that's going to take. So you're going to have to build it with a some form of database. Which means you're not going to just have to be able to use this API and be able to do some front-end stuff. You're also going to know uh, going to have to know how to do database development, use SQL, um... <laughs> yeah, it sounds horrible. Sounds horrifying. Yes, it does. And effectively, he's gonna try to get you to do it for like what would probably amount to like nine dollars an hour for a, a full stack dev. Now, I don't know about you, but I would never touch a full stack job for nine dollars an hour. <laughs> and that's that's if you're lucky and he makes any money. He's got that toxic elitist view. Uh, I don't really care about how he views um how he views you know, certain kinds of development. That's not exactly my problem. Like, I I fully understand, like, corporate has no idea how much jobs cost either. But my issue is that he sort of is under the assumption that this job is going to be super easy. Uh, but people have already applied. He's already got enough um, people who have applied where he's going to, like, cancel the, uh, the membership. So someone's going to build it, and this job's never going to get completed. Like, that, that's what I'm going to say now. It'll never be finished. Because it's... Whoever ends up working on it is going to realize how insane this job actually is. And is either going to quit or take so long on it that Luke's going to basically just end up finding someone else anyway. I offer to build it as an open source project for free and accept donations if he likes it better than betting on it, bringing any money in. Well, if you want to build it for free, that that's cool and all. Like that, I don't really care if you want to do it for free. I'm just saying that if someone thinks they're going to make money on it, and, like, this is actually a job that's, you know, worth doing as a job. Uh, they're, they're completely completely out of their minds. I've just gone the wrong direction. <laughs> like, if you want to do it completely for free and build, like, an open source spot of, uh, open source Shopify, that, that's cool and all. Like, I... That, that might actually be really useful, but, yeah, you, you're not gonna... You're not gonna leave this job with, like, a reasonable... A uh, reasonable amount of pay for it, that's for sure. I think that Luke is ignorant. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I don't want to die because I haven't gotten to a waypoint in a while. Um, I think Luke is ignorant. He's just ignorant. I don't know how he is in real life, but in his videos, he seems like he just thinks making software is easy, easy when he hasn't made any himself. Well, he has made software himself. He's made some shell scripts. <laughs> I think the only problem with JavaScript is stuff like WebRTC that make it easy to spy on people. Well, here's the thing about... Web development. Web development is easy. Like, that... If you're comparing it to other forms of development, it absolutely is easy. But this job, even though it's very easy, it's a lot of work. I don't think JS is really bloated, but how many devs use it is bloated. <laughs> JavaScript is the ultimate hack. The language is made in, like, two weeks just to, like, be able to complete a... Complete the job. That's, that's pretty much it. And over time, it's just been... Hacked on and hacked on and hacked on. And that's sort of why you've got JavaScript being such a mess that it is today. Because, yeah, it, it, it is a mess of a language. It absolutely is. Uh, is that the entrance down there? Oh, God. What are you? Also, TypeScript for the win. TypeScript is a beautiful language. I love TypeScript. If Look, if I have to do web development, I would much rather do it in TypeScript. TypeScript is actually fun to use. Hi Brody, what's up? Uh, I'm just ranting about Luke's dev job. Uh, I, I, sh I presume you've seen the uh, the job that he's he's uh, suggesting. Also, this game runs at like 2 FPS now, so if you don't like that, close your eyes, I guess. Uh... I, I saw some mushroom there. So you can even use Rust web, web development. So why use TypeScript? Uh, you can't use Rust web, web, web development. 
You can use it for WebAssembly, but WebAssembly doesn't have support for the HTML DOM. And without support for HTML DOM, well, you effectively can't do web development in it. Like, you can build backends in it, for sure. Absolutely. And you can build, like, Unity stuff and stuff like that with, like, c -sharp languages like that. But no, you're not going to be doing... Um, you're not going to be doing front-end stuff anytime soon with it. I can't imagine making a shopping slash commerce site with absolute zero JS in this year. Oh no, you're not going to do it. It's just not happening. Yeah. Like, you could. It's just... It's just going to make... Okay. You could do it if you do everything on the back end. So if you've got a massive back end and... Why is the waypoint up there? What, it, what are you doing to me, game? I don't know if I'm even resting at the waypoint. How am I even supposed to get to that, that waypoint up there? I prefer Golang over Rust, but each to his own. Why does any other language in Rust exist? I like this new music. This is really nice music, actually. I don't... I, oh, okay. I was wondering why the music wasn't lagging. This game is developed sensibly and has the... um. You can climb walls, can't you? Can you? Well, not this high, can you? I think TypeScript can make some... Can ruin some things and... Wait. Which, wait, some things which make JS, JS. If you want to type language for web dev, use Golang. Well, you're not doing Golang on the front end. <laughs> like, that's just not happening. Not, not until... Um, not until thingy. Uh, WebAssembly has DOM support. Once it has DOM support, then you can do whatever you want. Like, you could do C on the on the front end if you really wanted to. I wouldn't suggest it. Like, it, it would still be a dumb idea. But, yeah, when WebAssembly gets DOM support, you can do whatever you want. Ah! Yes, you can climb. Ah, right. You have to hold down space. I forgot the key. Why is the thing up here, though? That... Oh, it's not. It's actually spawned inside... Wait, is it inside the building? Wait, where even is it? No, it's not in here. It's actually spawned in the wall. <laughs> I mean, the script languages uh, have monopoly over front end. It didn't used to be like that. I guess I'm resting there? I don't know. We'll work it out when I need to. It didn't always used to be like that. Um, I saw a dungeon with the exact same model and the campfire was also there. I guess it's a common problem then. Plain salad. Uh... Oh, they've also got um, different categories now for uh, crafting stuff, which is awesome. Oh, you need a cauldron to make potions now. You can't just go and make potions whenever. Okay. So it's made that slightly harder. I don't know if gliders do anything yet. I guess they're probably still aesthetic. And they're still in all section. Okay. Mushroom stick does 20 health. Uh, food. That's what I wanted. Cooking pot. Oh, you need a cooking pot for that now. Yeah. Gliders are still cosmetic. Okay. Oh, okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. So there's some items you can only you can only make in towns now. Ah. That makes towns actually considerably more useful. Much more than they were when I last played. Um let's make some I guess we'll make some mushroom sticks or apple sticks. We don't have many apples. We'll make some mushroom sticks before we go into the dungeon. There we go. Oh, it also shows my carrying capacity now. Nice. There we go. I can put that one there. Um. Oh, do you use all the twigs up? Oh, <laughs> well, that's fine. Yeah, gliders work. Gliders, they, they work much better than they used to. Now they are not entirely broken. Where you can just fly forever. If you know what you're doing. Um. Now they are considerably less, less, um, yeah, le less broken than they were. 
Oh, I do have a, a scepter as well that I might use. I, I'm sad that my scepter, my scepter got really nerfed. I liked how broken my scepter used to be. I don't know how get it, how we're gonna get through this dungeon. I honestly hope they add a vanity slot like Terraria, so you can give stats to everything, but aren't forced to use things if you don't. Oh, if they don't look cool, yeah, that would be cool. Mushroom. This dungeon looks the same as the last one. The difficulty is higher, I believe. Yeah, last one we were at was uh, difficulty zero. So let's see how this goes. I presume that we're going to die. Oh, different enemies. Okay. Okay, you are a warrior enemy. Okay. Oh, God. You hit hard. Oh, God. I don't know if we're going to get through this dungeon. Hypothetically... Wait. Oh, God. Hypothetically, if you want to put some stuff... Uh, put up some kind of shop like Luke. What stuff would you use? Shopify. I'll just do it with Shopify. I wouldn't... I wouldn't do this, like, weird thing where it's like, I'm going to build my own Shopify. Like, just use Shopify. I get the whole, like... I, I want to do it all open... Uh... What? What is happening? Um... Wait, do I... What is happening with my walking? Oh. That was odd. The game really froze there for a second. And it was like... Okay, sure. It was like auto-walking me for some reason. Okay. Uh, what... What is happening? What? What? what, what? I, I'm not holding down the walk key. It's just walking for me. I, 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 I don't. Have I, have I accidentally hit the auto walk button? It doesn't. There used to be an icon there for auto walking. Um. No, now, now I am auto walking. Okay. Now I'm not, but it's still walking me. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, um, the game seems like it's completely broken. I'm not sure what, what. How to stop this? Sticky keys, probably. Uh, I, I'm on Linux. Sticky keys don't exist. And now... What? What are you... Game, what are you doing? Okay, sure. It's stopped. I'm not sure what's causing it to happen. Now we're walking backwards again. Okay. Sticky. <laughs> what is this game doing to me? I don't... Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. Um, I do have some issue with keys just sticking on Linux. Haven't seen it in this game yet. Uh, well, yeah, this is a first for me as well. I'm going to quit the game. We're going to relaunch it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, my lord. This game... Pre-alpha software. I didn't finish my thought about Shopify. My thought about Shopify is... It works. That's my thought about Shopify. Just use it. Like, it's, it's all, all well and good to be like, Hey, using open source is cool and all. Um, 
But at some point, you might as well just use the tool that works, to be completely frank. Like, there's there's a point where there's a point where it makes sense to like go and do it yourself. But just just use the thing that works when when you have the when, just yeah, just use the thing that works when it when building an alternative for it would take you literally months before you got anything slightly usable. Uh Oh right, I was wondering why I wasn't doing damage. There we go. Okay, it's still lagging just as much. Um, okay, there we go. I wonder if that's going to keep being an issue now. We'll see. It seems like it's not locking my keys anymore. Um, I'm going to turn off particles. Maybe that's doing it? Surely not? It's possible, but surely not? I also will turn off... Let's drop down shadow rendering to none. Who needs shadows? Now shadows don't exist. Uh, wow, that looks so bad now. <laughs> it do be pre-alpha. It do very much be pre-alpha. This is true. Pre-alpha software may, may be quite broken. That, that tends to be the case. I don't... I don't expect much from pre-alpha. Um, honestly, I, I expect it to be broken. Oh. I'm more confused with like... You know when you see like a, a game that's supposed to be in beta? Like, you'll see like the... The Call of Duty stuff and the, the battlefields uh, that are... Oh, this is a, a beta game like a day before it comes out. It's like, no, it's not. That's not what beta means. Like, don't, don't even pretend like that's what that means. Um, so it's nice to see something that actually is actually pre-alpha. Like, this this is very much broken. Um, also, the cast time is really, really long on those for some reason. So I can't, ex I can't even attack them. Um, I can't even attack them without the them doing their charge. That's just a demo, not a beta. Tell their marketing team that. Their marketing team is 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 absolutely convinced that it's a that it's a beta. Beta just means demo for like AAA companies at this point. Single player? Oh uh, yeah, I'm playing single player. Mixing these alcohol is not going to be a good idea. Mm. We started with ciders. Now we're on whiskey. This is bad. Um. Perhaps the most beta aspect is maybe testing servers. Maybe, I guess. Yeah, maybe we could drop down the internal resolution. Oh my lord, that looks so bad now. And it's still lagging. I've dropped the resolution down. You got the server up and running? Oh, nice. Uh... <laughs> I dropped the... the the internal resolution down to whatever half of 1080p was. Uh, so, what, 960 by 540? And it, it's still, it's, 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 it's still quite, quite laggy. Um, but amusingly, none of like the, like the menu opening or anything's lagging. It's just the gameplay itself. Which is odd. I would assume they would both... How about you change your render distance? Um, it's it's almost as low as it can go. Any lower? Okay, so I'll show you. I guess you didn't see earlier in the stream. Any lower, and the game actually breaks. Uh, did that save it? Okay, it's not doing it now. Hmm. Come on, game. You know you want to break. Oh, the, the render distance isn't breaking the game now. At one render distance earlier, it was just like, hey, you want to be, like, inside of a chunk that's loading? Oh. Nope, there we go. There's... The <laughs> I, I, I knew the game would break eventually if I let it go long enough. That's why the render distance isn't any lower. Because the game unironically dies. Uh... <laughs> 
Anyway, we'll, we'll uh, raise that up a bit. Maybe we set it at like three. Three means the chunks aren't going to be loading directly at my feet. Um, and should have time to load. My guess is they're not... When the, the render distance is one, they're not loading them early enough. I love the void. Come on, brain, you, uh, game, you know you want to break. Usually when I play um, games like this, I actually have to like put some effort into making them break. In this one, that it just breaks because you're playing it. There we go. Oh, there's a zero frame rate again. <laughs> oh my lord. We are never going to make any progress through this. Swift boots. Um, technically not broken, just choose not to draw anything past one. Yeah, I guess you're technically correct. Um, I really wish there was a storage system in this game. Does it drop a multiplayer? I haven't tested multiplayer, so I can't tell you. Someone was setting up a server before. I don't know if they... If they ended up finishing that. Or what, what the deal is there. Actually, no, they did say they finished it. They just, you know, contact me in some way. Tell me how to join it. Um, maybe they did on Discord. Uh, I'll turn my Wi-Fi on, actually, so I can... Um, see if they do. Um, no, okay, they haven't. <laughs> I'm just testing it now. Okay, all good. I know there's some kind of build feature in this game. I don't know what it does. Uh, I didn't know that feature existed, so I couldn't tell you. Wait, is that a... Hmm. You could try multiplayer on the default server. That's what I used earlier. I guess, yeah, we could try that. Multiplayer. Let's see what happens. It could very well be that for some reason, rendering it locally is just not happening in this version. Server.veloran.net? Yeah, okay. Version? Uh, whatever the latest version with Airshipper is. The one that came out yesterday. Vir <laughs> Virgin? <laughs> no. Um, we'll just make some simple character. Uh, I guess we'll play with a bow. Let's be, uh... Bruno, stop spamming. He's not spamming. We'll be undead. <laughs> uh, hairstyle. Why do the undead have hair? Because reasons. Uh... You're on the April 30 build as well? Hmm. And I'm guessing it's not an issue for you then. Hair colour. Oh, was he? I didn't even see it in my chat. <laughs> Let's see. Skin color. Oh, we don't have skin color as a undead. That's sad. Eye detail. We don't have eye detail either. Eye color. I'm going to make this... Yeah, red. I like that. Accessory? Eye patch? Sure. Uh... Single player launches a server on your local machine. Although only you connect, still has the overhead. Obviously, yeah. Um, but I was running it perfectly fine on my on the last stream. So I'm guessing something has changed between now and then that's caused it to be so weird. So they're more, <laughs> they have hair, so they're more scary. Oh, was there a joke there? I didn't even notice. Um... Uh, what's our, what's our undead gonna be called? Last time we were Terry-chan. Maybe the new player physics? I don't know. 
What shall what shall our name be this time? If I if I don't get a name, then I'm gonna give us something dumb. Like, I don't know. Um We can be Jim Bob the third. Bruno? <laughs> How are you doing, Joshua Barata Barretto? Why not go ginger? Um Because, yeah, that's fair. Zombie Jesus. Um, sure, zombie Jesus. Enter world. Oh, okay. Okay. It's nope. No. Oh. Okay. We'll give it a bit, just because it is just... It is just starting. Um... It could very well... Neaten up. We're hitting... Oh, wow, they're actually getting decent players. Yeah, no, this is not exactly helping. It's actually just... It's running just as bad, so it's clearly something on the client side. Rather than something on the server, the Ginger Ninja. <laughs> hmm. Where do we even spawn? Feed, okay. Um. Oh, there's ice. Let's go. I think the. Usually the best. The best plan early on in this game is go and find some farm animals and go and deal with them. <laughs> last, okay, last time I played the game, it ran basically flawlessly and I'm the only one in, in here that seems to be running the game so horribly. Uh... Yo. I don't exactly know what the deal is. We need some animals to go murder. Oh, there's a cave here. Caves are bad, because caves have trolls in them. Uh, where are some animals? There's an animal over there, I think. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> what graphics card slash driver are you running? Uh, RX 580? I think... In before NVIDIA? God, no. Oh, oh, God. Uh, seems like playing with a bow is m considerably harder. There seems to be something... <laughs> something. <laughs> I, I like... That's, that's the most software answer I have ever heard. I have the same issues on Skyrim, a recent Mesa driver fall back on my integrated GPU and Well you're running an integrated GPU, you can't really expect much from that one. Kushini the zucchini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hopefully, um the next time I play this game, whatever is causing the issue gets Yeah. Whatever is causing this issue does get dealt with. Cause I, I do like this game, and I've already I have donated to it. Um. Oh god, have you heard about Operation Harsh Doorstop? I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it sounds interesting. I want to see this game get better, and I don't know what what exactly this um what exactly is causing this problem. I would love to know. Get back here, skunk. Oh my god. The archer is so annoying to work with when you have zero frame rate. <laughs> I feel like the archer is way more annoying to use than 
the uh, caster anyway. What? There we go. He's running a dedicated and an IGPU said ma Oh, sorry. Okay. I read it wrong. Hmm. We switched to a backhand that's what's Vulcan soon, and that seems significantly improved performance for a lot of people. Hopefully that'll help is in the review process right now. Yes, yeah, someone was saying, um... You might have seen in the Discord in the, the bug section, someone was asking about a streamer having issues. I was that streamer. That uh, person joined um, my Discord and was talking to me about it. And they were saying something about a GPU branch that they were, uh, that you could go and, that you could go and compile. And I'm guessing that's, that's the branch you're talking about. I have fallen into a hole and I have nowhere to get out of here. Uh, okay, it's fine. How you doing, Will? Welcome to the absolute train wreck of this version. Uh, <laughs> I am one of the, the few, the, the few people who are affected by, um, the latest version being very, very laggy. Ooh. So, we've, we've frequently been dropping down to zero FPS. But, um, yeah, I will... I'll absolutely be coming back to the game at a later point. Uh, what view distance setting are you on? Um, three. I, I'm, on, I'm on view distance three. Oh, sorry, six. I've basically dropped down my settings as, as low as possible. If I go any lower, the game basically breaks. Um, where I can run into chunks before they've loaded. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Other times, it's a... Uh, yeah. Other times, it's a bit of a mess. So playing on the multiplayer server didn't actually fix it. So I guess we can go back to single player then. Um... Uh, Make some things, break some things. <laughs> Turn base. <laughs> it basically is turn base, eh? Uh, we'll go back to Terry Chan. If the game's. Oh, there we go. My, my favorite feature where the chunks don't load in quick enough. Um, try setting the FPS limiter higher. Maybe. Oh. Oh, this game is trolling me. Oh, this game is absolutely troll. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think. Oh. Nope, that didn't fix it. That did not fix it. That is so weird. So, the game runs at like 500 FPS. And then, for some reason, it'll drop down to 10. That is so weird. I don't know. Huh. That's even more confusing. So we're, we've got the FPS uncapped now. So, memory leak? Uh... No? Not... I... It's only using... A couple of gigs of memory, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Does HTOP show the CPU getting pegged? Uh... I forgot what the game was called for a second. <laughs> Maybe it's related to the Mesa regression mentioned earlier. Um, hundred and oh my lord! What? How do I access the logs? Where where would those be located? I have an AMD based GPU. Yes, I do. 
because I'm not a crazy person that runs NVIDIA on Linux. The game can be somewhat heavy on CPU when loading chunks, but it's usually not an issue for anything but the lowest powered hardware. For the record, um, I don't know if you heard it earlier, I'm running a 3600X. Now, 3600X isn't exactly like the most powerful thing out there, but it's certainly not bottom end or anything. Uh, I don't control that. YouTube will control that. Uh, try sending it, see what happens. I, I'm more than happy for links to be in chat. But YouTube is sooky about it sometimes. Leather... Yee. Okay. I'm just gonna... Going into that dungeon seems like a bad idea, so I'm gonna murder some animals for now. That seems... That seems like something I can do without too much trouble. Looks like 126% CPU, so more than one core fully utilized. Yeah. Come back here. Oh, wait, I died? Oh, I was bleeding. Uh... The... The... OBS? <laughs> oh, I'm in chat. OBS is the only other thing running that would be... CPU... Oh, yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm running on CPU right now. Um... But it's... It was happening when I wasn't running OBS as well. This was happening when I was... Pre-stream. Play open spades? I haven't done open spades in a while. Apparently the, the people who are playing though aren't playing anymore. So there might not be servers available. Which is sad, because open spades is a lovely game. Hey. Uh it I'm always sure this looks like Mesa doing some S. A lot of people complain about recent Mesa driver having issues. Isn't... Wait. Am I dumb? Are the... Wait, the, the Mesa drivers are the NVIDIA drivers, aren't they? Yes? Am I dumb? Am I forgetting... There are ser... Oh, there are servers? Okay, I guess... There was no one playing the other day. Okay. So... Oh! More of the... Uh, the new... The new and improved, um, entity generation. This is my favorite feature besides the zero FPS. This this is my favorite feature of the game. Uh, <laughs> this I know is a known bug. <laughs> but it's amusing every time I see it happen. Oh, okay. The game process itself seems to use more than a full core just standing. Uh, bring that back open. None of my cores are maxed out, though. Uh, Veloran. Yeah, so it's using 115%. But, none of my cores are maxed. Like... It could be some issue related to, like, modern drivers or something, but... Is... Why have I got that out? Isn't that how Goat Simulator got its name from bugs? Probably. Oh, now I can move. Alright, this destructible terrain. Oh, god. There we go. <laughs> Probably GPU bound more than CPU bound. Could be. Yeah. Um, I don't have a on-hand way to check my GPU usage, though. If someone knows a way to do it for AMD cards, let me know. I'll, I'll check it. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> well, that was... <laughs> well, gliding, uh... The new gliding mechanic, certainly... <laughs> is, uh... Quite useful sometimes. Oh, another hyena. More, more beautiful AI uh, entity spawning. I think this one is actually like stuck. Oh, yeah, it actually was completely stuck in the ground. <laughs> beautiful. The only time you can deal with those is with something that can destroy the ground. So like a caster. I don't wait. Do the other classes have ways to destroy the ground like that? 
Uh, is there a way to check which drivers are used for graphics in that process? Um, probably, but the sub I don't know the way. If someone happens to know, do let me know. Or like how to check GPU usage and things like that. What in the world is that? I can't tell because my render distance is so low. Uh, oh, game rendering stuff interestingly over there. What are you? You're a mighty Sorok. Oh, really? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I'm dead. <laughs> it should tell you which it's using in the terminal. Could be using an integrated card. I don't have an integrated card. I'm... It's an R... It's, it's a 3600. Um... 3600X. Doesn't have an integrated GPU. Also, the game wouldn't be running at... 400 F... Okay, it's two 200 now. It wouldn't be running at 250 FPS if it was running integrated. Um... VKICD file names. Uh, ICD underscore... Okay, that's nothing. Uh, maybe run op to run GLX info. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll Google it. Or duck, duck, go it, or whatever you want to say. Um. Check. Uh. uh Nix. AMD. Check. GPU usage. How to measure GPU usage. Thank you. Ask Ubuntu. Uh, oh, wait. You can use Radeon Top. Ah, oh, yes. The Radeon Top is a program that does exist, doesn't it? Uh, is it available in the AUR? How do we... What's the easy way to install Radeon Top on Arch? Radeon Top Arch. I don't want to build it. Uh, monitoring sealer. Power state. Monitor your GPU. Check your utilization. We can check that one. Uh huh. Okay. With Rady on top. That's what I'm looking for. If you know what's how I use your GPU when you use, you can check sensors command. Oh, yes, yeah, sensors exist, doesn't it? Check your GPU temperature. Uh. Oh. Radeon... Oh, it's in the standard repos. Radeon top. Oh, wait, I already have it installed. <laughs> Here we go. Uh... Come back here. Let's make that... Floating, I guess. Yeah, my nose. It looks... Like it's doing things. Uh, hopefully I haven't caught COVID. No, it's just hay fever. Uh, actually, I think it's more like a dog allergy. Okay. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, it seems like the graphics are spiking really hard when it freezes like that. Yeah, it, it's... It's shot. It's like shooting up to like close to a hundred percent when that happens. So there's clearly some sort of take some antihistamines. I took one before. Uh, 
Um, is there a... Can I... Wait, if I make that floating... Can I make it floating? Is that is the game going to let me? No. No, it's not. Uh, settings... Uh, try and come up with a way I can show you it while the game's playing. There we go. Perfect. So as we can see, the shader clock is at 100%. I don't know what that means. Uh, and when there's a lag spike, let's cause one to happen. It seems to shoot up a bit every time it happens. I wonder if it's a tiling window manager? Surely not. Surely that wouldn't be the cause. If it is, that's a problem with the game because I've never had anything else do that. <laughs> oh, oh, hmm. I guess it's not caching the shaders. I don't know what that means, but uh, sure, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, after the stream is over, I will send logs through to the uh, the Discord just to I don't know, so they can they can work out what's happening with that. Shouldn't have to compile them. Con that. Oh god. Uh, oh god, it's freezing. Okay. Seems like a CPU issue. Usage went down during that spike. <laughs> this has now turned into Brody is debugging this game. And that's Airship. I don't want to see that. Airship is running fine, surely. Uh... Do, do, do. Where is it? Oh no, that is the one we're looking for, isn't it? Wait, is it? Yeah, that is the one we're looking for. Okay. Uh, yeah. And... So the highlighted line is the, uh, the game line. And we'll put that there and that there. Okay. There we go. Oh. Uh, how did I get it? Wait, how did I get that open up before? Hmm. How do I do that? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. We'll see if I get similar lag. Well, other people are saying they're not getting lag. Chunk loading does do a bit of work, but that all happens on a worker thread. We deliberately don't spawn too many to avoid them fighting with the main render thread for CPU time. Uh, in settings, take it off borderless and just run it in windowed mode. I guess... There's there's no such thing as just windowed mode in this. I can just put on exclusive. I don't know what that means, but we can do it. it there we go. F11 to toggle full screen. Aha. Uh -huh. And... The game is... Running... Better. It's still lag spiking, but it's not lag spiking to the point where it's completely unusable. Maybe there's a problem with running in windowed mode? Solution, buy a 6800 XT. Yeah, just kill it with brute force. Interesting, okay. Let's stick it on borderless and see what borderless, if borderless has a difference. Maybe there's an issue with running in entire, uh, running it in windowed mode. Oh, no, 
that's dropped the frame rate down again. Uh -huh. We're not going to go in here because that, that just makes it harder to find stuff. How are you doing Fridays for the future? Yeah, I have no idea what exclusive means. It seems like Borderless is causing a more of a frame drop. It's running better now that it's not tiled. My X-Bike looks like it's during chunk loading. Mmm. That's what I was saying earlier. Okay, we're gonna switch it back over to exclusive. Whatever exclusive means, I don't... What kernel schedule are you using? I have no idea what that word means. Um, I have... <laughs> how, how would I go about checking that? This seems especially like a scheduler issue. Mmm. Come back here, monitor. No, nope, the game's still running awfully. Okay. Ta I take back everything I said about it running better in um, in full screen. Butter smooth? Well, it's not everyone having this issue. Like, they've already said that it's a... It's a certain people are having this issue for some seemingly unknown reason. Okay, I'll cut I'll cut that out. Eh. MQ deadline Kyber BFQ none. Oh wait, that's HDD. System updates. Just Ah, uh, I'm not downloading anything. Oh, are there any pending ones? Probably. Uh... Yes, there are a couple. <laughs> this is the, there's a, Oh, there's a new Mesa driver in here. I had these spikes on Windows and Sharp figured out the problem and fixed it. We're going to install them. And hopefully this doesn't break everything. My guess is it's going to break everything. So we probably should quit out of the game, shouldn't we? Mesa patch, yes. Uh, if I just download the patch, is that going to swap the driver over to the new version? I don't know. Usually I'm... Well, that's fine. I've updated... In... Well, doing partial updates on Arch isn't supported, so... Uh, um... I'm sure they're using the same version I had issues with Mesa. No, you'll likely need to restart. Yeah, that's fair. Um, well, I can't exactly restart it now. Yeah. So we'll keep playing with the horrible, the horrible frame rate. Uh, I will test it afterwards and see if, see if the problem still happens. Yeah, no, I don't partial upgrade an arch. Uh, definitely no. That is a big no-no. But I, I will test it afterwards to see if it keeps happening. Actually, what should get worse now because we've got weird stuff going on with drivers having, like, the update happening. Um. <laughs> and do snapshots on ButterFS if you're worried about breaking from updates. Or just don't use ButterFS. Hey, Rudy, your channel is gold. I hope you know... You have a substantial following in Kazakhstan. This official message from the president Nazar, or the president, the president of Nazar Bet. Uh, give me one second. Naz, Naz, Nazar Bayev. Nazar Bayev. Thank you, Google Translate. Let's uh, let's try that in. 
Let, let's not try that with the most English accent you'll ever hear. Uh, the language is spoken in Kazakhstan. Uh, Russian and Kazakh. Okay, sure. Uh, I did not know Kazakh was a language. This is how... This is how boring I am. Uh, there you go. Oh, there's no translation. There's no way to say it. Um, okay, we'll try it in Russian then. I'm sure Russian will be able to read it out for me. Here we go. Nazarbayev. There you go. <laughs> Nazarbayev. Thank you to the president of that university. Um... Oh yeah, no, if you want to see the game running well, go watch my previous stream, because previous stream I did on this, it was flawless. No issues at all. Um, this is a a recent build thing with my specific hardware. Uh, try Turkish? Okay, we'll try Turkish. Is Turkish close? I, I, I don't know. I haven't left, I haven't left my country. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what other people. <laughs> I don't know what languages other people speak. Uh, Turkish. Nazarbayev. There you go. Are you on the same branch? Uh, I am on what it says on the screen right now. This one up here. The 2021-0430-A37-1746. The build that came out yesterday. From Airshipper. How are you doing, FAT? You not been to New Zealand or something? Nope. Is is that like Minecraft? Uh, it's like Cube World, which is like Minecraft but with an RPG element, which is like Minecraft mods that already exist actually. Uh... <laughs> I love the music in this game. I whoever did the okay, ignoring all of the problems that this game has, at least on my system, whoever did the music that exists in the game, uh, this is great music. Honestly, like, absolute bang-up job with this music. I, I really appreciate it. Sound design, also really good. But, like, that music really, really stands out. Not just, like, the general walking around music. All the, all the music that exists in this game, I really love. And at least the music is running on a separate thread. So, when the game freezes, it keeps playing. Oh, it's a tiger. Volunteer Composer did a good job. They absolutely did, for sure. <laughs> I've been in New Zealand and I was pretty dope, 100 times cooler than a, a Merifat. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of context specific music. Oh, it's a parrot. <laughs> Sup, parrot? I did hear some music when I was in the dungeon before. Oh, apples, nice. I can always use some. Different environments have different tunes. Um, let's go down to this des the, the desert then, now that it's daytime. Uh, we'll go down to this... Um, are there swimming mechanics in this game? There probably are. Let's go to the water, see if there are. If there aren't, then we die. Uh, is that a, wait, is that a turtle? It's a tortoise. Okay, sure. That is a very quick moving tortoise. Wait, was there always burn mechanics? Wait, are those new? Or have I just not noticed them before? Can this game play on Linux? Uh No. No, this this game this game cannot run on Linux. Not at all. Not it, it. It'll never run on Linux. The game will never be available on it. Uh, <laughs> have you listened to the Rust Game Dev podcast interview with some Valorant team members? There's a Rust Game Dev podcast. No, I haven't. Uh. 
Oh, wait, is that... There is a lot of antelope here. I thought one of them might have been flying. It'll never run on the platform that 80% of the devs use. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. No. You, you never want to develop on the platform... You never want to develop on the, the same platform you're using. Definitely not. She's a man-eater. Last episode was in January. Oh, new scepter skill point. Why did I get a scepter skill point? I'm not using the scepter. What is Linux? It has like five episodes. Ah, okay. I didn't know it existed. But it sounds cool. I appreciate that something like that exists. Come over here. No, die. Die. There we go. Cool. Linux. There you go. <laughs> what is a computer? Never heard of them. Is that a kind of cheese? Uh, wait, did turn, yeah, did turn the effect off. Okay. <laughs> I love my soundboard. Uh, these spikes definitely occurring when chunks load. My suspicion is either a schedule issue or a graphics driver issue. Chunk meshes need uploading to the GPU via driver. Well, because we had updated the driver, and I can't exactly restart the system right now, um, I will test it afterwards. It very well could have just been that that one version or something like that. And it's just not an issue anymore. But I cannot check. Uh, deal 20% more damage, sure. Restart the PC. Yeah, I'm going to restart it during the middle of the stream. That's going to go very well. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to go down perfectly and not going to break everything. Um, yeah. I imagine these issues will be less visible with other games because they are likely uploading most data to the GPU and loading an area instead of continuously. Eh. Uh. You can shut down a computer? Never knew. Yeah, I can like... Pull out the power, and it just turns off. I know, it's crazy technology. Come over here, lion. Wait, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Dodge it. Dodge it with my one FPS. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, no, it's hyena as well. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, wait. Oh, I... I just realized I didn't actually go to a new waypoint, so get sent all the way back. It's fine. I'm not exactly going anywhere. I'm just, like, killing stuff because it's fun. Uh, you called us out. It's really... It is really some magic from the void, and it's mostly chaos gods. Mmm. <laughs> ah. Oh. Right, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing it. So that ability is entirely particles. Oh, <laughs> I will turn that back on so I don't... Um, wait, wrong one. So I can actually see that. Uh, do, 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 do. Where? Particles. Particles, there we go. Well, thanks for that. Well, okay, yeah, when the performance is this bad, yeah, it probably isn't. Uh, you're, you're probably onto something. Hi, shadow rendering map, cloud rendering ultra, shadow rendering resolution 4x. Look at that. Now, now it's running at just, still above 100 FPS. If this game runs better now that I've maxed out the settings, I'm going to be pissed off. Oh, no. Okay, there we, there we go. There's my there's my crash that I've been loving. Um, you like Red Bull? God, no. The only time I drink Red Bull is when I mix it with vodka. Uh, which is not a good good idea. I don't recommend it. But clubs love to sell, uh, serve it to you. I'm not exactly sure why they like to attempt to kill their customers. But they do. That's, I guess, their thing. Just stop talking about the perf. Every time you do it, slows down. Maybe I'm the cause. 
Maybe the game's just listening to me and it's like, hey, this guy is complaining. We have to make this, the performance worse for him. Whoop. See? Exactly. Right, as soon as I start complaining, it does it. Uh... Yeah, it, it probably is a bit much. Base, caffeine, screwdriver. Seems like you need V-Sync. V-Sync's not exactly going to help bring the frame rate up. It, it'll, it'll keep, like, it above, but... If it's dropping down to 2, uh, yeah, it's not going to help. Yeah, the problem is it's, it's a stuttery 100. That's the issue. But if you watch the FPS at the top, it's drop. Like it's dropping constantly. Windows never lags. I'm blaming the driver. Oh, look at that. That's rough. Not referring to the constant zero FPS. See, in the moments when it is staying at 100, it's smooth. It's just the zero FPS that's causing it. What was it Quoka or Quoka? I don't know what you are. You're like a beaver thing. Come over here. I want to kill you. Stop running away, I can't hit you at 3 FPS. Uh... You'll be really cool. Uh, having like a trajectory thing for... Like any of the... Uh, projectiles like this. So you sort of have like a rough idea of where stuff's gonna go. Cause it, it's very much a... A guess, and you'll work it out. Uh, in its current state, which probably is... It makes the game more skill-based, I guess. But... I think it would be a cool feature, at least. At least as an option. You can tame the birds. Oh. Um, you need a collar. Now, how do I make a collar? Do I even have the things to make a collar? Oh, you can craft Velarite fragments now? Oh, you craft it with Velarite. Right, of course. Oh, it probably will. Vodka and Red Bull is the worst drunk experience. You're high AF from the caffeine, yet feel sober enough to drive. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware. I am well aware that that's a thing. Um... I want to see any sort of, any sort of alcohol and Red Bull is a bad idea. In Adelaide, uh, Jaeger bombs are really popular. Every single club you go to, you can get them for like, at minimum, usually about $5. And drinks are just expensive in, in Adelaide in general. But yeah, $5 is the cheapest drink you're going to get at a, a club like that. So... You will down like 12 Jaeger bombs in a night, and you'll feel like you want to die, but also be incredibly happy. But it's so much fun. Reboot and come back online? I could do that. Hmm. <laughs> you, you guys just want me to kill the stream right now and just see what happens. Let's see. Murdering some zebras. Come up here, zebra. Oh, God. Uh, this is rough. Oh. There we go. Hey, it's dead. Nice. Oh, is that one just going to run away from me? <laughs> I think if I kill the stream, it might break stuff with restream. We're testing, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. I'll s Give me one second. If I kill it, oh, I can't turn the auto stream end off. Uh... Yeah, if I end the stream, this stream is going to actually disappear. I would have to go and like re uh, reschedule the stream and mess around with it like that, which seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Oh, we have two zebras in the ground. 
If I wasn't using Restream, I would be able to, but Restream messes with some stuff like that. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Uh, we'd like to know the results either way. I will... I will test it straight after the stream is over. That is for sure. Um, but if I stop it now, then that will break everything I've got set up. Streaming since 2150 minutes. No, that's just my time. No, it, it's just... Um, almost, what? 10 o'clock here. Or 10 p.m. I have definitely not been streaming for 21 hours. If I'd been streaming for 21 hours, I would have fixed the problem by now. <laughs> I would have just gone and written the code myself. There we go. Oh, skill point. Nice. At least fighting animals can still be doable like this. Yeah, it's the Australian Australian time. Yes, I know it looks weird because of the half hour time zone. Yes, Australia has half hour time zones. I know no one knows about these until I tell them about them. But yes, they do exist. Why they exist? I don't know. Don't question it. But, they do. For some ungodly reason. Oh, there's the zebra in the ground. Rewrite the game and rust and it will be better. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We get it. Ru rust is a meme language. Ha, ha, ha. Funny. Um, we starting on drink three already? I think we are. This game's making me drink more. I think we need some water. I'll, I'll drink some water and then I'll have a third drink. Mm. Because I'm a responsible drinker. Oh, the game froze while I was having some water. <laughs> Didn't you? Is there a um? Is there a command to set it back to daytime, or does that not exist at this point? Need to rewrite Mesa and Rust. I know there's like, like some useful commands like to get back to your hometown, but is there a way to change the time? I know there's also a teleport as well. Slash time dawn. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna heavily use that command. Or slash time day. Ah! Lovely. Awesome, thank you for that. Can we join you on that server? I'm playing single player. So no? If the game, like, if I restart it and it's stable, then the next time I play the game, I guess we can do, um, can do some multiplayer. That would be fun. Rewrite the kernel and Rust. No, rewrite Nvidia and Rust so we actually get some decent drivers. Uh, that's not going to help me, though, because I'm running AMD. <laughs> I would happily have people play on a server with me. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, just playing single player now. Oh, it's another Zebra. Oh, that one's not... That's odd. The lighting's not working on that zebra. Uh, okay. That's a new one. Oh, since we do have some devs here, um, is anyone ever going to fix this bug? <laughs> I love this bug. This bug is great. Not a, not a super priority one, but... Did you fix your stutter? No, god no, my stutter's awful. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead? I feel like this lag would drive me mad. Oh, it would if I was... Um, if I was playing by myself. I consider it a feature. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if it's a feature, sure. Sure, Bethesda. Um. <laughs> oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can they attack me when they're in the ground like that? I don't think they can. If you go higher enough, you get to space. You do. Oh, now while we're here, I wonder if I can't. If I rest at this. 
rest at this uh, waypoint that's stuck in the wall. I wonder if I actually can. So if I, if I rest right here, like above it, does that work? That does not. Okay. Uh, can I rest anywhere where it can restore health? Okay, so resting right here, I can still restore health. Okay, cool. Good to know. To implement an at atmospheric simulation, when you trigger the zoom too much, you can see the planet. Bugs don't exist. Everything is a feature. Did they implement a flat earth? Yes. This, this game proves the flat earth. But the map is really, really big. Like, look at this. Uh, I guess, no, if we turn clouds off, you'll see it better, I guess. Uh, clouds, none? Yes, there you go. Like, look at this map. The map is massive. So, just for reference, I am, I am this very tiny thing here. This is how big the map is. Actually, because we uh, can't do much else, how about we go to the edge of the map? Uh, funny thing, the Flat Earth has actually caused some issues when I made the atmosphere shaders more realistic. Huh, okay. Because I've got literally nothing better to do, and the, rather because the game's breaking so much, I just want to see what happens when we go to the edge. Uh, maybe. I have to hackly fade out the atmosphere at a distance to make sh sunsets work properly, simulating curvature. I'd never even thought of an issue like that. Huh. How you doing, Matrix? Come to join the fun. I'm going to go to the end of the flat earth. Uh, when the lag is fixed, uh, a disco multiplayer gaming session with the community would be cool. See if you can climb a giant tree. Uh, is, are d giant trees different to these trees? Say hi to the turtles. Hmm. I'm about to sneeze. I'm trying to work out if I mute my microphone or if we wait it out. Okay, I think we're good. Can confirm giant trees are cool. I am the new guy who said hi in the Discord. Oh, 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 same Matrix. Okay, cool. I'm guessing you're a Hackintosh user, judging by the name. Oh, mushrooms. Giant trees are on the map screen. Oh, wait. Are there underwater caves? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see it. Okay. It does suck, yes. Wait, where's the... Where are we? We're here, okay. So there is a giant tree... Over here. I guess we can head to that one. I'm a Linux user. Are you an ex-Hackintosh user? Either way, we go... We head south. And we'll get... We'll get close enough eventually. And then we can deal with the giant tree afterwards. Uh... I think what set it off is, I don't know if it's hay fever or dog allergy, because I went and saw my sister earlier, and their dog, like, is constantly shedding hair, but I'm usually fine with most dogs. It's ones that are, like, super hairy and, like, super sheddy like that. Do you have a plan to start a Valorant server for your subscribers? Uh, that would be fun. I haven't considered doing it, but it would be fun for sure. I use Arch and used to use a Hackintosh. Ah! Oh, are we high up on a mountain? Yes, we are. Time to try out the new glide mechanics, I guess. Oh! Okay, it actually... There we go. So don't angle it too much or the game is not happy with you doing that. Cool! Oh, the lighting's not going well for me right now. Is this game bloat? Uh, aren't all games bloat? Because, you know, games. No, stupid. If we're going to quote Luke Smith here. Uh, aim with the cursor. Yeah, I worked that out before. Don't angle it too high or you just... You die. 
Have you reviewed Artix? Uh, I don't review distros. <laughs> I don't actually. I don't review things in general, but no, I haven't because I I don't do distros. Brody computers being just being a potato. If I, okay, I was gonna. Uh, if I, what is the? Wait, what's the key to? Auto glide. There we go. Okay, I just need to open up my drink. My drink exploded when I did that. Okay. Hmm. There we go. The download is about 250 meg. Most of that is music. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we've. Chain, we're off course. So we're going south, aren't we? <sighs> this is great gameplay. <laughs> I, I did, I did cause this myself. I'm like, hey, let's jump off the mountain and fly. Which is, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it seems like we're slowly falling. <sighs> oh, I wanted to test out the, um... The water-related mechanics. So I guess we'll crash into this river. You pitch down into dives to pick up speed with the new gliding. Ah! That's fancy. I can donate it, pay for the Velen server, and set it up if someone wants to maintain it. Don't have much time to maintain a server myself these days, but doubt it's difficult to maintain. Dodging between trees down the side of a mountain is great fun. It, that sounds like fun. Is it, wh What does that even mean? Time. Day. There we go. Why are we crouching? Is that a, a little bit of water here? It is, right? Yes? Yes. Oh, a bridge! <laughs> what is in the water? Oh, this... <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Oh, there are swim mechanics. And there's frogs. And there's axolotls. Can I draw? Um, not well. Oh, that's that's neat. The water is interesting, to say the least. It's like, what is running water? Just like <laughs> solid water blocks. I can okay. I can pick up a pencil and I can I can create images. So yes, I can technically draw. Whether you would call them good is another question. Uh. One of the things I wait. One thing I loved about your channel, mate, just honesty about things that interest you. People appreciate that. Uh, not some weekly review of of a distro. <laughs> I wonder who you're talking about with a weekly review of a distro there. Um, well, yeah. One of the, the one of the things I aim to do is just talk about things that I enjoy. I like. There's plenty of. Ch if you just want to see, like, oh, here's. Here's just like, oh, 10,000 more distro reviews. Like, there's there's plenty of channels like that. The software that I look at is software that I, I enjoy messing with. I don't know what that thing is, but it's going to die. Um, yeah, all the software that I check out is st stuff that I, I want to check out. Even if it's like just random software that... Doesn't even seem to have a use case. I look at it because that's what I want to do. I just, I, I just enjoy tech, to be honest. And it just it just so happens... I know the game is lagging. Um, it just so happens that the path I went down is messing around with tech in like a Linux sort of context. A piece of paper too. You can design a Docker image with a pen. I guess you could. Why would you? Uh, oh, we haven't seen castles yet, have we? 
since we're on our quest to the end of the world, theoretically should be fixed when I reboot. Uh, that looks like something that'll kill me. I have not been to a waypoint in a while. Nope. No, don't, don't kill me. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. We're all the way back here. Oh, no. <sighs> Wait. Troll and lion, bad combo. Yes. Oh, my God. There's a lot of sunflowers here. I want all the sunflowers. I, I said this in the uh, last stream as well. I feel like waypoints should be on the map. Yeah, lions are mean. He asked if you can draw a dock image with a pen or something. Death by a thousand milliseconds. <laughs> you know, I don't have to walk to the end of the map. I could just teleport there. It would be considerably quicker. Hi, am I late? Uh, you're two hours late, but I'm still going. You get a thousand. Uh, you get used to a thousand milliseconds when you live in Australia. Well, look at my ping. My ping's only twenty, so <laughs> I'm not having some issue there. I miss the days of. Uh, I miss the days of having. A, like 300 ping in every game I played. Not when, like, not with modern games. Modern games, the problem with a lot of them is they start rubber banding when you have really high ping. But go and play, like, you know, uh, Unreal or something like that, where if it's lagging, you just have to lead your target by the amount of, uh, the amount of lag you're getting. That's always fun. It's like, oh, you have... 300 milliseconds ping? Well, just aim three seconds ahead of them. You're fine. You'll hit them. <laughs> It'll work out somehow. Not well. Uh, we get Starlink now in Oz. Wait, really? We It's, sing it's single player, but I'm connected to... A it's still connected to a server. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll try that again. Why are you looking upside down? Oh, I forgot you live in Australia. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Wait. Can I? Wait. I wonder. Wait, I can do it. Oh my god. I can. I didn't know I could do this. There you go. I, I fixed I fixed my camera. Uh <laughs> I'm just gonna stream like this for the rest of the stream now. Cause you guys think you're funny. There we go. I am using whatever I get from Airshipper. So, presumably that's stable. I completely forgot that I could do that. I was considering uh, turning the game, ups the, uh, the game upside down as well, but I feel like that would be uh, too disorientating. <laughs> My ancient gravity harness being a little rusty. Airship is nightly. Ah, okay. I just realized my camera is actually not sitting inside of my overlay properly anymore. So you're from Stalian, right? I don't know where Stalian is, but I, I am from Australia. 
finally the right direction. <laughs> the game's got a flat earth. It does. Oi. There we go. Uh... Wait, what's the, uh, the button for the free camera? Uh, free camera. Free look, L. There we go. Flat Earth. There you go. Is that fun to look at? There you go. <laughs> I'm done abusing that joke for now. Oh, that's... Oh, that is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, could I help you with your resume? Uh, I suggest asking someone who who knows how to help you with a resume, not me. Are you always going to stream FOSS games? On this channel, yes. Just put React in your resume. Just put Soy Dev in your resume. There you go, perfect. You'll get like lots of uh, lots of responses like that. Because as we know, every single uh, every single employed dev is just a soy dev. I'm gonna laugh. If they put yeah. I, I hope they don't do something like that. There might be a. There's goddamn lions down there. I I am flying. That is. That is an accurate assessment of the situation. There may be a waypoint at this... at this castle. That looks dangerous. I want to go near it. Why am I bleeding? What's... Um... Slash time day. God, no! I'm just gonna... Okay, where are we? We are at this coordinate. I, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm teleporting back here. What's the other uh, teleport command? So... A hundred... Oh, what is that? 1675. Screw it, we're teleporting. Um... Oh, wait. Oh, no, 16... That was the wrong direction, so... Oh, it's... Do wait, it's doing the sticky keys thing again? Maybe. Okay. Is it, like, teleport or something? I know there is a teleport command. Uh, just put all the tech buzzwords in your resume. Say you have 10 years experience in all of them. Yeah. Especially if you're applying for a junior dev job. Just say you have 10 years experience in everything. They'll definitely uh, believe you. Slash TP. 16,000. Uh, I think it's something like this. 6,800. Player 16,000 not found. I, I want to run to the edge of the map, but I'm, I'm sick of dying. So we're going to... We will teleport back to where I died. Uh, Veleran commands. I know there's a bit on the documentation about it. Why is your webcam upside down? Because uh, chat thought it would be funny. So I made it upside down. Uh, oh, sorry. It's go to. TP is for going to a player. Sixteen thousand, six thousand, eight hundred. Oh, it's. Oh, the documentation is out of date. The documentation says do a um, do commas, but it's actually do spaces. Oops. Well. Oh, yes. Th thank you. Please spawn me in the air. 
Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, the ground is at 500. <laughs> 6,006 sucks, sus. Sus. Um... I did spe- you're, you are correct, I did specify spawn in the air. If I sp Let's go 600. Oh, good, we survived that. What are you? You are a dead wood. You're not threatening. Okay. Come on, there's got to be a thing over here. Surely there's a thing over here. A waypoint. So someone said right in help. Oh, you... No. Go oh, it is threatening. Mate, can you, like, not? Um... I had food here. Well, I had some soups. I guess I used the soup, maybe. Um, now a lion help with some butterflies. No. No. Just no. The castle looks safe. The castle was a tree growing through its wall. I don't know how safe this is. There are pigs in the castle? Okay. Oh, waypoint! You better not attack me. Mate, if you attack me, I'm gonna end you. Okay, cool, they're fine. Because you're Australian, shouldn't you invert Y axis in your config? I should. Um, I'm not going to. <laughs> I I'm not gonna extend this joke out longer than it needs to be extended. Um, wait. Oh, I just, <clears throat> I just flipped my, um, my overlay rather than my camera. Good job. Moron. Um, there we go. Okay, the, the, the joke has lived its time now. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Why are people who study literature so good at computers? Haha, <laughs> that's a good meme. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, as we know, um... As we know, everyone who studies literature, god-tier computer user. Uh... Oh, if you press a button, it does that. Okay. Uh... Now, let's see what's in... Oh, I could... Wait, could I ban myself from the single player? I wonder. <laughs> Can we climb these walls or don't we have enough stamina? Let's find out. We might have enough stamina. Let's go! We don't have enough stamina. We definitely don't. Oh! Oh, no. Almost. Oh, wait, can we get in here? Luke, Tom Scott, IBSD. Okay, I'll give you Tom Scott. Yeah, that's fair. And I don't know who IBSD is, but... What is in the castle? Are there enemies in here? Or is this just like an empty castle? Oh, there's an animal. Sup, cattle. Oh, there are people living here. Oh, they're just like the normal... They're just the no <laughs> They're just the normal town NPCs. Okay. Well, that's less exciting than I thought it would be. This looks like the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I, 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 I too remember the Legend of Zelda running at 3 FPS. Um... Oh god, are you threatening? No, okay, you're not gonna threaten me until I attack you. Cool. Luke is only good at leave rebooted think pets. 
I talked about Luke's job earlier. The, um... The very... Uh... The very underpaid web dev job. Where you're a full stack dev for probably $9 an hour. Actually, since the game's running so horribly anyway, let's actually see what happens if I crank it. Just crank everything. It can't get any worse, surely. Well, even with everything cranked, it still sits... Okay, no, it, it does drop below 60 on the regular now. Okay. No FPS drop in a while. Huh. Okay, we can't run it at max settings, but it seems to be running slightly more stable at max settings. Maybe because when it drops, it's not dropping as bad. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Hmm. We're well, not allowed to use JS because bloat. Yeah, don't build a shopping site without JS. How high is this mountain? Um, that high. <laughs> Less constant chunk loading? Hmm, maybe. Oi. Oh, wait, empty? Uh. Okay, game, sure, if you say so. Okay, it's running at 30 FPS now constantly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna lower this one down a little bit. What's your PC? Uh, 3600X a RX 580. And the game is on a NVMe drive. Yeah, it's on an NVMe drive. I have to go? Yeah, talk to you later, man. Nice having you around. I will, um... I will post in the Discord the results of... Dropping... Uh, dropping... The, the the new thing in. The the new drive is in. See what happens. Okay, we'll draw that down. I want I want it to sometimes the game's just not gonna run at sixty now, is it? It's just not gonna happen. It's running more more consistently, but it's just not running at sixty anymore for some reason. Oh, it decided sure, whatever. We'll just play this game at thirty FPS, sure. It's slightly nauseating, but Felix game could be a banger with some mods. Yeah, a mod API would be pretty awesome. Now we're at 20 FPS. Yeah, the game's running more, way more stably now for some reason. Wait, why are we moving so quickly? Uh... I'm not the only one who's noticing the game's running quicker, yeah? Yeah, the- oh god, it's gotten- Okay, now the game is, seems to be running at, like, double speed. What? Well, you don't have to write ro mods in Rust. You could make the mod API in a different language. I think the game's running double speed now. The animation is playing faster? Okay. Oh my lord, what is going on? Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> the <laughs> Wait, what's going- Wait, what? Um... Has the- <laughs> the, <laughs> the ground's just not rendered. So we're running at double animation speed and the ground's not rendered. What in the world's happening? <laughs> it's 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 certainly taking its time to load. I <laughs> I I think your GPU is melting. Radeon top. Oh, it loaded. That took the animation still at double speed. 
Oh, it's snowing. That's that's cool. It's snowing at double speed. <laughs> I don't know what I've done now. Wait, is this not Cube World? No, this is Velerin. Alright then. This is the Rust compiler. The Rust compiler is causing it. We're actually getting close to the edge of the world now. Look, to be fair, with the game running at double speed, um, do I do everything in the terminal? God, no. I'm, I'm using OBS to stream. I just have a terminal, like, on a hotkey so that I can bring it up and do stuff in the terminal if I need to. Always walk around with a glider. Because glider means no fall damage. Have you seen the ads for the Chromebook? Uh, which ads are we specifically referring to? Because I don't know which ones you're talking about. Uh, time... Day. Time dat. Exactly. That's my favourite time. Time day. Imagine if you can play this game inside the terminal. Someone was talking about like a terminal interface for it. I don't know what that means though. What are ads? Ads are those things that you use because you want to support creators and give all your data to companies. Oh my god. I think that... I think it's running quicker now. I think we're running... Yeah, it's running faster now. You can write different front ends for the client. Uh-huh. I, I genuinely don't know what's happening with the... The, the um... The animations. My FP... Okay, so... Right now, my FPS is running at 18, but it has a 56 millisecond, whatever that means. I'm guessing it's like a delay or something. I've somehow managed to make this game speed up. I have created the speedrun strat without even knowing how. Because this is not double speed anymore. This is above double speed, surely. It's the world border. And this mountain hasn't loaded. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, there's a wall there? Framed? I guess it's frame time. Maybe that's why the animation's broken. Maybe because I have a 43 millisecond frame time. The game just like, I don't know what, what you're doing right now. Oh, waypoint. Like, you're gay. You should not even be able to... The, the, oh, yeah, it's going even higher now. Okay, the game loaded now. Cool. Cool, waypoint. It's weird how collision meshes still load. Yeah, that's odd. I would have thought I'd like fall through the ground, but no, nah, it those seem to work fine. I wouldn't use a stored made by Google. I'm too paranoid for that. What are those? Oh god! There's... Oh, it's an owl. Sup, owl? <laughs> I don't. I don't know um, if. Anyone's ever had this same level of problems. This this stream has just been nothing but issues. Will this game blow up soon? I don't know. I don't know what happens if you go past the world border. I wonder. Maybe we fall through the map. Is that a difficult dungeon there? No, it's just a level one dungeon right near the map. Might tell you to hard skip boring story. I feel like you're making a reference that I'm missing. God. 
Oh my god. I'm sh I should get a screenshot of the game being this broken, shouldn't I? Now it's the opposite problem not being out of render frames. No, we still... Well, yeah, now... There, there we go. It's... Now, I, I don't know what the game's even thinking. There we go. <laughs> Look how close we are to the world border. I think it has something to do with your view distance. 60... F you might be onto something. It very well could be the max view distance, couldn't it? Yeah, I think because the view distance is so high. Oh my god, watching this just render stuff in. That is so amazing. This game is made in Rust? It is, yes. World border! Yay, look at that! We finally made it here. Woo! We have made it to the end of the world. Awesome. This is when the lions attack? This is, that is very possible. Oh, there's... Wait, can I swim underwater? Oh, yes, holding shift. Wait, is there no breathing mechanics at this point? What are you? What is... Wait, is that a... We need to escape the world. What happens if we try to leave the world map? Aaron, if we kill the people across the ocean, we will be free. Ah, that's the plan, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna... Oh! They're gonna go kill the people across the ocean. I'm getting very close to this... The actual border of the world now. I don't know if there's gonna be a hard border. Okay, we're still moving. I don't know if we're actually swimming, though. Okay, we are still moving. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll zoom out like this just to make sure. If you escape, you get a free crash. Hmm. Maybe. We're still... We're outside of the map now. And we're still moving. So... Maybe the water just keeps going on. Yeah, they might have just put an infinite ocean here. Oh, I just got a great idea. So there's a coordinate system here. There is a coordinate system here, so what if we go and teleport to, like, go to... Let... Let's say we go something like negative 500, and then we'll just spawn in the air, because why not? There's water there. Oh no! Oh no, let- I'm gonna keep- Let's just keep going. Go to- Let's just make it something dumb. 14,000, negative 10,000. Uh... I wanna break it. I'm gonna break it very hard. 200. Okay. <laughs> Current- Oh my god. Oh, so the- yeah, let... 
That's exactly what we need to do. We just, we'll go in intervals, okay? So, negative 100,000, 140. I'll go, we'll spawn in the air, just to be safe. Oh! Okay, no, there is water here. Okay. Okay. There is nothing under us, though. There is literally nothing under here. <laughs> Okay. Well, a hundred thousand's fine. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we will do that. Um, but fourteen thousand negative ten a uh, million two hundred. Oh. Oh. My st okay. Game seems like it's functioning. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. oh, the water rendering's broken. And we can't move anymore. Wait, we can't move north? Oh, it's got the same problem that Minecraft has where it's, um... Oh, that's, that's amazing. Okay, so... If you if you know anything about Minecraft, the way that it handles its um its movement, you're not actually moving in integers. So <laughs> everything is based on um on floating point numbers. So the further you or the higher you raise your floating point number, the more glitchy the server gets and the more glitchy the entire game gets. As we can like you can you can see it like the water isn't even generating properly anymore. That's because the the float the, the number is so high that the water generation doesn't even know what to do anymore. So the higher this gets, the worse it's going to get. And you can see that my movement is very stuttery. Um, and like it it freezes occasionally, even though the game is still running just fine. Um, it's freezing because the numbers are just that high. So the higher this gets, the worse it's going to get. You can, if you go see, there's a, a guy who walked all the way to the um, the edge of Minecraft. And you can see that as he goes, there were points in the game where he was like jumping entire blocks with a single step. Also, there's like these weird, weird particles going on in the water. You, can you see those? Like the little flickering lights? I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh my god, that's... That, that's cursed. Um. Okay. Go to. Uh, 14,000. Let's add another zero. Um, yep, that'll. So, 10,000, 10,000, 100,000, million. Uh, that's six zeros. Seven zeros, so. This is 10 million. Uh, uh, we'll go 200 again. Okay, so my camera's still working fine. Good. I, I don't... I, I hope my stream doesn't, like, crash because of this. Don't give me a teleport command, because I'm going to break your game hard. Okay, so it, the game's completely frozen right now. Probably because I just moved 9 million blocks in an instant. Um, so, I don't know if the game's gonna crash or not, though. That's, that's the thing I'm not sure about. It very well could. Uh, go, climb to the top of a giant tree. Mate, I'm 10 million blocks outside the map right now. Kill something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a bit difficult when I'm way outside the terrain generation. So, I think we're frozen for a bit. Um... Whether the game catches up or not is another question. I wonder if we can pause. No, we can't pause. Um, so we're, we're kind of stuck here for now. Amusingly, it's not freezing my, like my stream or anything. Colonel panic moment incoming. <laughs> Very well could. Can we get our cursor off the game? I don't know. I think because I'm in full screen mode, my curse, my curse is actually locked to the game. Oh god, oh god, we're actually. 
it's actually broken really bad. Mm. <sighs> well, <laughs> how you doing, Philip? We're in the middle of breaking the game because the game gives me a teleport command, and I wanted to do it. Uh <laughs> I don't. I. I, I don't know if this is gonna if this is gonna work ever or if we're actually we've actually just broken the game now. I'm so sad I wasn't doing this when the devs were here. I, I can just quit out of the game. Like my system hasn't frozen. Like I can still go to different screens. Everything's still work. I was gonna if everything's still working fine, but I tab back to the game and the game's broken. Um, I've got an idea. I'm gonna kill the game. There we go, my curse is fine. <clears throat> See, the uh the launcher for it's okay. Like <laughs> It's the the game itself that's a little dead. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the game. Uh Play some SRB2 card. I'll do that next uh, next time I play this. Uh, next time I do a stream. Um, okay. We've killed the game. Now the question is, have we actually broken this character? It's very possible that we've actually broken this character now. Um, I cannot... I cannot confirm that we haven't. <laughs> Which would be amusing. Terry's Flight Simulator. Valorant is still in pre-alpha. <laughs> uh. Like, I could have very well corrupted this character at this point. I don't even... Let's, let's see what happens. Where is he going to spawn us? Oh, it spawned us here. Wait, what? Why did it spawn us here? Uh, I... Yes, I've played Mind Destroy. I played it, uh, the other... I played it a couple of streams ago. Is Velera an actual game yet or not? I don't know. Does it look like an actual game? You tell me. One thing that would be nice if I could see, like, the coordinates of stuff. This is... The waypoint's not here, though. At all. Um... Okay, someone asked me to go climb a giant tree. So, I guess we'll go climb a giant tree. Where's the nearest one? Here? I, yeah, I did. I, what I realized is I'm very bad at streaming games like that. So, I'm... I'm, I, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, we'll just teleport there. Why not? Go to, uh, 13,000, 14, 4, 9, 9, 20. There we go. Uh, oh, that did not teleport me. In the dire correct direction at all. That is the opposite direction that I wanted to go. Go to... Um... 17,000... 1,400... 900. Oh! Oh, we spawned in... Wait. Wait, did we spawn... Oh! Oh, thanks, Will. Oh, we spawned under the map. Oh. <laughs> Money towards the FPS fund. Thank you. Um, well, that that's an issue. We don't need to be here anyway. Let's keep going. Uh, I guess... I'm going to guess like 25,000. Just search Brody Robertson Mind Destroy. It should come up. Probably, yeah. Uh, go to 25,000... 1400, I guess we'll spawn at like 2000. Hey! 
Oh yeah, I, since we can spawn like way above the map, what happens? Oh, way outside of the map, what happens if we spawn like way up at the sun? Someone did mention that earlier. Will my NVIDIA 3090 run this? Uh, yes, if you don't have broken drivers like I have apparently, presumably it should. How do we install A play on Arch? Um, oh wow, that is a giant tree. Oh, I died. Oh, wait, you can take full damage from gliders now? Oh, I sp Oh, god. Okay. I did not realize that. My graphics card is seven years old. It'll probably still play this. Um, 25,500. Um... There we go. Wow. Oh my god, that is massive. Oh wow, that is impressive. Okay. Doesn't that come with also util something A play? Maybe? I don't know, I don't use ulcer. Oh, it's so big that it shades the world. I love, I love empty. Empty is my favorite item. This is awesome. I don't know how I'll go about climbing it. Ah, uh, I love, I do love this game. Look, I can, I can complain about the way it's running. I can complain all day about the way it's running, but I do really like this game. Oh, I guess you have to like, find a low spot like this and go up here. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, okay, I, I see, I see the deal here. And then we have to like parkour around to work out how to do it. Ah, yeah. Have you played Total Chaos? I don't know what that is. Um, so no. Show us your smile, Brody. Um. Oh, my computer's lagging just generally now. Oh, wow, that's lagging badly. There you go. Um, can you set fire to the tree? Uh, I can shoot fireballs at it. Ah, so you have to, like, climb these branches and stuff. Okay. Well, the last thing we're going to do to break this game, because we're getting close to three hours now, is I'm going to teleport into the sky. Why is everyone talking about Cube World? I've not heard about it. Yeah, that that's why you've never heard about it, because this <laughs> the game basically died. Go to... Um, let's just say 20,000. 1,000. 10,000. All right. Oh, 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 the game is not happy about this. The game is not happy that this is happening. We can... Oh, the game doesn't seem to break as much when you spawn above it. Or even if we zoom out, it's like, doesn't even know what to do. 
we... Whoop! That's odd, the game's not breaking anywhere near as much when we do it like this. Maybe spawning the, uh, spawning new terrain causes more weird things to happen like that. Oh, it's breaking my hands, though. Okay. Whoop. Oh, now it's not spawning the character at all. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Did we break it? I think we broke it. I think we... The music's still playing, though. <laughs> this is a testament to why you put your music on a separate thread. Because even if your game is completely frozen like this... Music still works absolutely perfectly. This is a lesson in game design you're seeing right here. Always put your... Always put your sounds and music on separate threads. Oh, yeah, the game has completely frozen. Actually, one thing I do wonder is what happens if we quit out of the game like this? Um, wait, can I even get my cursor off the game? Okay, my cursor's disappeared. I want to see what happens if we save the game when we're in the air. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, what happens if we save the game when we're in the air like that? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting the game to break when I'm doing this. If the game wasn't breaking, it would be d coded better than Minecraft is. Not to say Minecraft's coded well, but... Yeah. It would be coded better than Minecraft is. Is it written in Rust? It is written in Rust. That is that is the case. Bro, you switched to Bash Top. It looks like half a gig of RAM, but it looks... <laughs> it is half a gig of RAM, but it looks nice. Are we black box testing Valorant now? Yes. Actually, well, I do have access to logs. So, it's like a... Gray, well, it's grey box testing, we'll say. Wait, you're swapping 20 gigs to disk, no wonder it's lagging. Look. Look, mate. The game should be running perfectly no matter what I do. Um, have you tried the Mana world? Mana is the client. Mana Plus is the client. I have no idea what that is, but is that a FOSS game? Um, what? Well, we spawn at like a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand in the air. <laughs> Let's just say. Oh no, that's not in the air. That that's our Y. So I wonder where zero 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 is. Oh, where is zero zero? Let's say we'll spawn at four hundred. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! That's amusing. So. Okay, most of the time, games make zero the center of the map. You can see that this game has just used whatever Rust engine they're using, um, and wherever zero zero ends up being. That's amusing. How do you say, is it written in Rust in Japanese? Um, I don't know if... Okay, I, I know how to say write, but I don't know if there's a different word for write when it refers to programming. Oh, it is a FOSS game? Um, no, I haven't heard of it, but I'll try it out. That That's hilarious. That, <laughs> it's just this... Okay, anyway. Um, right, right, we're going to test what happens if we go... Go to... Uh, let's just use this position. Sure, why not? Zero, zero, and then a hundred thousand. How you doing, Philip? You decided to go over to the Twitch. Nice. Okay. And now if we go log out, does it save that position? It's technically supposed to. But because we're way in the air, I don't know if it will. It might. That'd be funny if it did.
They can add simple validation to prevent this from happening, lol. Although it's open source, so I guess anyone would be able to add it. Very skull. Oh, okay. I'm more than happy to try out stuff like that. Oh, really? It spawns at the way... Of course it spawns at the waypoint, doesn't it? That's no fun. Um... Is... Okay. Question. Uh, health. Is there a way we can... There's a... Oh my god. There's a command to set waypoints. I'm so late. Can you quickly reha recap what happened on the stream? Um... I managed to break the game so badly, the animations were running at four times the speed. Um, my frame rate constantly drops to three FPS. And it... That glider is... That hovercraft thingy, the, the, the hover... What it, blimp? Blimp, that's the word. That blimp is running horribly. And right now, I'm intentionally trying to break the game. There's a command we can set waypoint. Okay. Okay, okay, that's perfect. Let's go, uh, go to zero, zero, a hundred thousand. Oh my god, we can really break the game, can't we? There we go. Okay. We're way in the air now. The game's completely broken. Waypoint. Now what happens if we quit out of the game and try it? I imagine that we've broken the game. We've broken the game really badly now. I hope we have. It'll make me very happy if we have. <laughs> Come on, Terry Chan. You know you want it to happen. Come on. Yes! We've broken it. Perfect. Is it some limitation of. Vo oh, yeah. Uh, also, heads up to anyone who has, like, epilepsy. Stop looking at the stream. Um, so is it some limitation of voxel? The UI glitches so far. Uh, out of bounds... Oh, it's getting worse. Out of bounds of terrain. If so, wouldn't it make sense to just allow people to go that far? Chamod, no rust, no fum. Why is there a key to fly in controls? Wait, why is there a key to fly in controls? I don't know what you mean. We should be high enough to fly across the entire map, eh? Oh yeah, the same thing will happen in Minecraft. This is just a limitation of computers. <gasps> hmm. I'm trying to think of ways we can break the game. Yeah, the further away from zero, the less accurate floating points are. Exactly. So, once again, if we go do, like, say, um, it's actually a good demonstration of what I'm talking about here. Let's say a million, zero, two hundred. Give that a second to load, because it's going to not be happy about it. So, the way they're generating the, war the, the water, I'm guessing they've got a, pro a, um, a procedural pattern generation happening. And as you increase your, um, as you increase the flow, oh, you increase the number away from zero, the higher the level of accuracy drops, basically. So every time you go up from, say, a 16-bit floating point to a 32-bit floating point, you're adding in extra inaccuracy. Even so, should it, should limit to not pe let uh, people do this? Yes, it, it should, but that's no fun. So, there's how the water looks right here. Get a good look at it. Let's go back to... Um, let's go to 100,000. We'll go 10,000. 0, 200. And this is how the water looks here. As we can see, it's using... It's got, like, a, a more, you know, natural little, sort of look here. So, it's these, I guess, waves sort of things are being generated in code. I'm not good at explaining why it's happening, but I can I can demonstrate it, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, no, if you want to break the game like this. 
I wonder how low the water goes. I wonder. Why don't we go below the map? What is the game going to do to us? I presume it's going to break. We might just start falling. Uh. No? Okay, I guess the game just... Anywhere outside of the map, it just generates water. Odd. Huh, okay. Okay, that actually is a solid wall. That is really strange. I did not expect it to do that. Wait. Oh, we're still above the, um, zero, zero, zero. Oh, we're still above the zero Z height. When we go below zero, what's going to happen? So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game works perfectly fine. Okay. Technically, computers don't have floating point precision limitation. Just so that nobody cares to work around special non-atomic variables uh, that can use your RAM. What happens if we go below the map? Uh, zero, zero, negative ten thousand, or neg yeah, negative ten thousand. The answer is apparently. Water still exists here. Oh! Oh! What? What the Okay, the map, map... That's so strange. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, the game's not really sure what to do with me. Oh, I get... I know what it's doing. That's that's a cheeky trick. I like that. So to make sure you don't fall out of the map, I think it's continuing to generate the water chunk around you no matter how deep you go. That's cheeky. I like that. Cuz that that's a it also is creating a hole in the world though. <laughs> Hmm. We must go deeper. Go to zero, zero, negative a hundred thousand. Oh god, the Amusingly the map continues to work fine though. I would have thought this would get really bad. That's <laughs> it the the map is very low poly but it works I think I think you can call this working he's not really sure what to do but hey it's working I think actually let's zoom in on the player where are we I think it's it's still rendering us oh it's still rendering us just fine and we can still swim just fine as well that's so strange I would have thought the water mechanic would have completely broken at this point Huh. Interesting game. We must go deeper. Zero. Zero. Negative. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Hundred thousand. Million. Boom. Oh. Oh, no. It's fine. Okay. I thought it broke for a second. Oh, the swimming is breaking because of the floating point precision errors. So is animation. We're like... We're like... Freaking out down here. If we zoom way out, we should theoretically still be able to see the map. Oh god. At, it, we can, but... We see the map at the point where... The map generation doesn't work anymore. Alright, yep. That... That's, 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 that's going well for us. 
I don't think we can see the world map anymore. I think we've zoomed out far enough. There's a, sl there's a slight point we can still see the world map, isn't there? Yes, right there. Perfect. Keep going down, you'll find Maiden Abyss spoilers. I've... Mate, you, you, I've, I've read Maiden Abyss. <laughs> I think if we go one more deeper, it should break. I think that's going to be the point where my CPU can't handle it. Uh, nope, that's fine. Oh, that's, that's not fine. I want to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> I'm not... Sh Daddy Bondrudo. The game is not happy about where I am right now. We are still swimming just fine, though. Yep. What is a disco now? Okay, that's enough. Um, do you watch anime on Sunday or Monday? I watch my anime when it comes out. Which means most days. Um, go to zero zero. Wait, yeah, go go to zero zero negative this number. Is that more than what we have? Wait, that's seven zeros. That's also that's that's six zero seven eight. Okay, this. Oh my god. Oh my lord, the get. The game is not happy about what's going on now. Oh, we can't even render the character properly anymore. Gonna head off? Ah, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream off soon anyway. Play Bad Apple. I feel like that'll get me uh, copyright struck very quickly. I'm grabbing screenshots of this. This is beautiful. You going too? Ah, see you later, man. I think one more teleport should break the game. Go to zero, zero, negative. What is that? How many zeros do we need? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still going. Okay. We can go really low for some reason. Strangely, the game is happy to do that. Uh huh. Okay, sure. Play Hanazeva Cardina. I am. No, you know what I'm going to play? Here you go. Oh, we are cur we're currently this many blocks under the map. Um. Yeah, I I'm trying. I'm trying to break the game really hard. It's not breaking though. You. This game is well made. I honestly expected it to break. This is so, this is so bad. Why am I doing this? Um, I'm trying to reach the bottom of the abyss. I'm trying to reach the floating point number limit. But hey, on the bright side, the game's running well now. Um, it's running perfectly, actually. How is it, honestly? How is the game not broken yet? Come on, break already. Just do something. Oh. Yes. Yes. We did it. <laughs> yes.
Should I report this bug? We are currently a lot of blocks under the map. Um, <laughs> we broke the game. I think I set my. I think my waypoint for this character. Actually, do you want to see my where my waypoint is? Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you my waypoint, then we'll end off the stream. <laughs> Sounds like a realistic situation a player can find themselves in. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Have you ever been, um, like, what, 10 to the 20 zeros under the map? Or ten, yeah, 10 to the 20 zeros, that'd be far more. 10 to the 20 under the map? Because I have been. See, look at my waypoint. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I do like how the the game just breaks at this point with the other uh, particles that, or with the other uh, water generation. So I don't even know what water generation is at this point. Just whatever. <clears throat> Glad it's not a memory access violation. Well, I think that's as good as a, as good a point as any to end off the stream. Um. Uh, let's go, let's go to the ground. Zero, zero, two hundred. Whoop. Cool. <laughs> it stopped lagging, though. On the bright side. Oh, you missed out the point where... I wonder why you're still playing just to suffer. I didn't expect Maiden Abyss to look this blocky. Um... <laughs> Right, you missed out on the bit where the animations were running at 4x the speed. I don't know why, but it made travelling to the edge of the map much quicker. <laughs> so yeah, that is what happens when you go a lot of blocks under the map. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, unless you want to have a seizure. But, this is a fun game. Next time we play it, um, I'm not going to be messing around breaking it. We'll actually play it properly. Potentially. And hopefully it won't be lagging as much on my system, which would be lovely as well. <laughs> so, as always, thank you guys for watching. Um, someone mentioned some other games in this, the chat. SRB2 Cart and SRB. I'll check those out as well. Did you get that in inventory bug fix in for you? I don't even remember what that bug fix was. What bug fix are we talking about? Inventory bug fix. I don't know what bug fix you're on about. I cannot remember. It's been a long three hours. It's been a very, very, very long three hours. Oh, from last stream. Ah. Ah, yes. Yeah, that would be lovely. Now, I know I, I know I know I was memeing about the game for for a lot of it because it was breaking on me, but I do genuinely think that Velerin is a really good game. And if your system isn't breaking with it, I do highly, highly suggest playing it. Um, the world's still very barren, but it's getting better. Like, the last time I played, there wasn't birds. Birds are now here. And it's added some extra stuff. And there's traveling merchants and traveling, traveling travelers, traveling travelers. Yes, exactly, traveling travelers. The game's slowly getting better. The devs are very, very active. Like, I, you might have seen on my airshipper here. Like every week, they're posting updates, and you can see what they're doing. Um, if you want to go support the devs, I know this wasn't the greatest demonstration of like what the game is actually like with it lagging so much, but. I've donated money to them. I highly suggest if you want to, if you want to support this game, please do the same as well. If you have any bugs you want to tell them about, it seems like they're really, really active in listening to the problems with the game. Um, and if you happen to be someone who streams, there will generally be someone, either one of the core team members or someone who's working on the project who pops in and checks out what you're doing. 
So these guys are really cool. I do highly se uh, highly suggest checking out their project. Um, and yeah, what's the date of the first commit? That's a good question. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out how old this game is. Uh, Velerin. I guess it's on GitHub? Presumably? Is it on somewhere else? Wait, where is the... That's a mirror. Where is their main repo? <laughs> let's find out. Um, that, let's go download. Ah, oh, not even showing you my screen. Um, Linux packages, air shipper. Oh, if we go to the AUR, uh, yeah, if we go to the AUR, uh, is that gonna? Okay, that didn't link me to where I wanted to link me to. Where is the Velarin repo? GitLab. Thank you. Wait, where to join? Huh? Ah, it's right there. There's a link to it on the page. Um, is this the master branch? This is the master branch. How does GitLab work? Um, when's the first release? First release is a year ago, but that's 0 0.02. How do I check that on GitLab? I don't, I genuinely don't know. I don't use this website. Kip, yeah, that's it. Commits. And, um, okay, no. Is there a way that we can check? I don't want to download the entire code base to do this. History. Um, is there a way to or change? There's an author thing here. This is a banger track. I love it, by the way. Uh, actually, I'm not showing it on the screen, am I? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you can't see it because the screen's white anyway. <laughs> Here you go. There's the name of the track. Um, so that's for initial? Ah! Yes, you could be onto something. How do I... S initial. How the hell does... Wait, am I dumb? Initial structure. Here you go. January 2nd, 2019. Can't reverse git log. There's surely a way to do it. Oh! Oh! Oh, the guy in here earlier was one of the core dev team. <laughs> oh, that's why he was so helpful. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, Josh, thank you for showing up to the stream. If you're listening to the VOD afterwards, you were very, very helpful. I didn't actually realize you were actually in the core team. Um, <laughs> oh my god, why it's so hot in this room? I've got my window open. I am boiling in here. Uh, anyway, yes, that should be the end of the stream. I am going to step outside where hopefully it's cooler. Um, it's 11pm and it feels like it's like 26 degrees in my room. I don't know why. Maybe it's the alcohol and the antihistamines. Maybe the antihistamines and the alcohol are not a good combination. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that is very true. Um, I did want to be honest about the game. Like, I had important devs in here last time as well. I'm not going to shy away just because devs are in here. Like, if you're going to make a project and you want it to be open source, I am going to criticize you for it. And if you're a good dev, I hope that you'll uh, you at least take what I've said, even if you don't accept what I've the the opinions I provide. At least take what I said and then at least consider what it is. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I've tried to end this stream off three times now, and we're gonna end it off this time. So thank you guys for watching. Um. 
next Thursday, there will be another Crystar stream on the gaming channel. Uh, then there will be a Dead Cell stream on Friday. Saturday, I have literally no idea what we're doing because I decide the Saturday streams on Friday. Um, so I'll work it out then and it'll be something. It might not be another open source game. It might be though. Or it might be like a Reddit research stream. I don't know what it's going to be. It won't be Valorant again. I, I like to give Valorant like three or so weeks, but that, I think that's what I'm going to do. Give it like three to three weeks to a month between each run so they can add in like new features and stuff and I can play around with new stuff like that. Um, yeah. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I am dying for the heat. Uh, dying for the heat. Dying from the heat. And I'm going to end the stream. So here is the outro. Uh, there. <laughs> see you on the gaming channel. Yeah, see you on the gaming channel, Runson. Actually, I'll see you on the Discord first, to be honest. <laughs> I should mute my microphone, shouldn't I? Peace out, gamers.